Hello, everyone, and welcome back. We are here for another Freaky Friday with our skeleton crew coming around. Uh, we're in isolation again. I've been saying this every day. But if you're watching this in the future, it's 2020. Corona's happened. We're in isolation. This is literally the conclusion of week 10 of our daily five days a week streams, which started off with five days in a row of Arkham. We are very excited. I'm excited because we are, I feel like I'm cutting my teeth into what people have described as the best cycle in Arkham, which is Carcosa. This is scenario five, which if I, my math is correct, this is like, so there are two scenarios in the deluxe, then pack one, pack two, this is pack three. So yep. we're getting into the like peak like the top the, of the story arc. That's and right. We're going to start going down the hill towards resolution. Just think about how little experience you'll get to gain over the next. It's very sad. Before you have to just pack it up. This is the Phantom of Truth, a Phantom of Truth uh, scenario. We are visiting Paris in search of something. I want to recap too, if we all remember what happened, uh, the story. I believe last week we played. I'm I'm playing Joe Diamond, who I'm a big fan of. This deck coming together. He's also yeah, been you get very to, fun. You get to dive into it's, that whole it's thing. It's clue gathering in a way that I enjoy, which I, I'm a little surprised happened, <laughs> uh, but I like it. I, and I'm just excited. And you, of course, have been playing your uh, Jim Culver deck. I'm, yeah, it's, it's finally clicking. And this is one that I think you need the full suite of tools. It's been great. The I mean, the amount of tests that I've failed is very very small. Uh, but if you're looking at, like I'm looking at the bag right here, I can zoom you guys into this. So I think it's handy. This is a deck that requires you to really understand the tokens that are in the bag. So for Jim Culver, right, when these three skulls turn to zeros, your, your bag just looks awesome. And so I'm looking at this, and, and at a minus two, I'm in pretty good shape. If I have the black cat out, then these turn into minus ones. If I have ritual candles out, these turn into minus ones. So then you're literally left <laughs> with four bad tokens? So I'd be left with four bad tokens. If I call, like, recall the future on minus two, that then takes it to a zero. If I have two recall the futures out, I can also call the minus three. So that would basically mean that as long as I have a ritual candle or a black cat with those recall the futures, I'm looking at two tokens that fail me, and that's out on of, a minus out one. Of 18, I think, was my quick math here. Yeah, it's like 18 tokens. Which is so it's phenomenal, very right? Very strong. And that's yeah. the suite that I'm trying to get. So we, we do have Black Cat in the deck finally, so I'm excited about that. And of course, my approach is the exact opposite of messing with the bag, which is I have a ton of card draw in my Joe Diamond, I have my Insight deck. And I have a lot of cards that commit a whole bunch of icons to my, my skill test. That's right. So looking at this, right, two is definitely the number for me to get past. Three yep. if I want to be real safe, and four if I want to be ridiculously safe. That's right. Uh, but getting past the two with a lot of my commitment cards is very easy, and that's, that's kind of the story of my deck. Um, and I'm trying to keep a very full hand. And then eventually I'm wanting to upgrade into Decipher Reality. This seems like it would have been the scenario to have it. Yeah, maybe too late. Uh, maybe I missed that boat. That's the tough part of Arkham. Like it, Earlier on in this process, we built a deck, and then you, you blew my mind with the, now build it with 30 or 40 experience yes. so you know where you're aiming. And I think if I could go back and, and start from the beginning of this, I would probably hit Decipher Reality a little sooner, mm -hmm. um, just so I have that play. There, even the last scenario would have been pretty good, but the, term, the one before would have been even better. So a quick recap. Yeah, let's and do it. I, I, Welcome I, everybody. Yeah. Also, hi. Uh, hello. Hope Good you're to see doing you. Well. Sometimes we just get wound up. We start talking because we're well, excited to play Arkham. Particularly, like I, I know some people might be watching this now or in the future that didn't watch because we're now 20 hours in uh, mm. to this scenario. So maybe don't have full context of what the story is going on. I'm even having trouble remembering quite. I think it was something about that asylum that kind of messed with my mind. <laughs> this, this, this scenario, uh, this campaign will do that. Where I just, and we've, we've played enough scenarios now where like, I'm starting to mix characters and yeah. what happened and all the story. The last, last si scenario was actually the uh, asylum, which was insane. So we knew, we found out that, that there was a person who had been in these Yellow King plays that was a persistent, uh, I guess, actor and it was Daniel Chesterfield. And, and we, learned, the we learned that he was in the asylum, and, and honestly, that he'd been there for a long time. And so it's like, yeah. why is he in a play if he's in a mental and asylum? And before that, there was like some things making us suspicious of the King of the Yellow play. Like the was, very first thing, which, which was, was coming dead to bodies. Arkham, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, and it was like, and no one could remember what was going on, it seemed like. So then we go to this theater, and it gets real creepy, and we enter this other dimension, and it's like a bizarro scenario. Then we wake up outside the theater, yeah. and we're not quite sure what happened was real or not. And then we see a sign on a door about a party yep. happening for the cast crew. So we're investing. Yeah, and we love parties. We go to the party. The party also gets weird. The party got real weird. Um, we talked. It to, got weird quick, quicker than I was expecting. Yeah, we All talked. All of a sudden, everything was ghouly, and, and like it was ghouly and weird and crazy. 
Um, and then from there, we went to the Historical Society right. to see if we could find some evidence of this play happening. And we had to find this like hidden room in the, uh, in the, the Historical Society building to drum up, and that's when we found out about Daniel, who had been yeah. admitted to the asylum. So then, and we left the class behind, which we found it there, and we said, "Nah, yeah, I'd rather I'm not. not a thief." Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you yeah. think of Joe Just Diamond, a detective, but not a he's thief. not a thief. Neither is Jim. Uh, then we went to the asylum, and of course, we went and we found Daniel. He was in a, a cell. Creepy stuff going on at this yeah, asylum. Yeah, killed him instantly. Uh, did we? More or less. Yeah. I thought we we allowed him to not live, but we weren't pro. pro I mean, he in he demise. came in to the story as a crazed lunatic that was engaging us and whatnot. Mm. Now there were there were some situations, depending on what had happened, I think, where he could have been, you know, you could have calmed him down, but I think we got the version of Daniel that we just had to, to shrivel away, which is what we ended up doing. Which we did. Yeah. So unfortunately, he uh, he had to go. He had been driven crazy. Yeah, or um, may, you know, maybe... Uh, or Jim decided maybe he had a, to go. Maybe it's a blessing that we just, maybe Daniel's been suffering in the asylum for all these years and we finally could Free put him. into that suffering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and. It, uh, <laughs> never has a blessing or cursing <laughs> as a sentiment been more appropriate than that moment. We set some fires. We started some fights. The asylum was all sorts of bizarre. And, I, and then we got out of there. I, I, the last second. I didn't know because we, we barely got out of that asylum. Yeah. Uh, but uh, apparently if you fail, you just go insane and get admitted, and then you're just stuck in the asylum. And you game over. You have to yeah. pick a new investigator. And I even ran out with a uh, straight jacket on. Like a boss. Yeah. Yeah, I was blending in like nobody yeah, you were just else. Disguised oh, like crazy. Yeah. Uh, so now I believe. Do you remember what the end of the like story last time was that made us go? Because I, I I'd read the the first night agenda and it, we're going to Paris for. Uh, I'll read that in a minute. Yeah, that's a really um, good question. So what, we got out of the asylum and we like we jumped the fence and we put the straight jacket over the barbed wire and we bailed. Why don't I? I'm just gonna go get it. I want to actually remember yeah, that. I remember Daniel telling What's it called? us something. E Echoes of the past. Is that the last one? It's been an unspeakable oath. Unspeakable both. I always think everything. Oh, we can't say past. you know what. Yes. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. I forget what it is, but I know I can't say it. Hamburger. Hamburger. <laughs> uh, echoes, uh, echoes, yeah? Uh, echoes? Uh -huh. Yeah. Pack one? No. Uh, I'm speaking of oath, yeah. What up, Jay? We heeded the warning, that's right. He who shall not be named. Correct. Yeah, thanks for saying that. It's important. So when we're reading this to the, the folks... Oh, I remember the name. Don't say it's it. It's close to Hamster. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. It's not even here. Okay, so let's see what happened. We did all of this. We uh, we did that. Uh, campaign, then add, then add, then add. Yeah, that's what we did. So, yeah, with them distracted, we jumped over the barbed wire, we made it to either side, breaking into a run as we made it, etc. Then we had uh, Daniel did not survive, or maybe was possessed, maybe that's the same thing. Uh, the price was paid, okay. What we up, did, Raider Nation? We did heed, heed the warning, right? Yeah. We did heed the warning. For hours you struggle with this insight into the king of yellow. What is true, what is real, only you can sort through this madness. That's where we left off. So we don't know why we're going to Paris. I think the intro will okay. probably tell us on uh, this one. And then we went ahead and did the setup for this before we started, but essentially one of the big things is whether or not we had more conviction than doubt, which we did. Uh, so that led us to uh, remove Black Star's Rise and False Lead from the deck. And we're going to be using Act 1, Version 2, uh, over here on the Parisian conspiracy. That's a fun word for me. Yeah, of uh, Paris. Yeah, Parisian. Uh, Parisian, is there Parisian. Is on that, like the first page? Yes, there is. Uh, but we just set that up, and it, we kind of skipped over it. I love, I love uh, the positional element of Arkham and the idea of a sprawling city that we're kind of exploring. Um, I believe you had real life experience exploring a sprawling Paris. I did do that. Um, yeah, I remember as a, as a young boy, a young lad, about eating loaves of bread on the park bench. Yeah, we drank a lot of wine. That sounds like a good time. It it's, was it's, awesome. We, today's we, a wine day, by the way. Then. We were at the Eiffel Tower at 4 a.m. and we were in a field next to it with uh, an awesome group of kids, and they were freestyle rapping in French. And so we were over there, and we started freestyle rapping in English, like you do. It was a pretty wildly great night. That sounds then, like a good time. Uh, we fell asleep on the lawn of the Louvre, and then the sprinklers turned on at 6 a.m., and we took off running. <laughs> and you were not asleep anymore. It was exciting, I'll tell you. 
Okay, so I do <laughs> love these. These are my favorite Arkham scenarios where there's a ton of locations and we essentially just get to wander around and discover aspects of the city as things kind of slowly turn weird. Sometimes they do, most of the time, I would imagine. Uh, and so it's really cool. And, and you, you get that open world feel, which I love whenever Arkham creates that real open world uh, sensation. All right, let's do it. Everybody ready? I love this. Elaine says, new encounter card for the game called Mattress Delivery. Peril, <laughs> choose an investigator to quit the game. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep, it's true. Check the campaign log. If the king claimed its victims, read intro one. Nope. Didn't claim its victims, right? I don't think so. No, there were no victims. Only success. Skip to intro two. It has been several weeks since the events in the asylum, and you're still no closer to the truth about the King in Yellow and Carcosa. You've scoured the city for signs of the others Daniel had mentioned, the ones who are opening the path to Carcosa, but found nothing. Either the trail has gone cold, or they are no longer in Arkham. Perhaps Daniel truly was insane, and you're only following him deeper down the rabbit hole. Every night you toss and turn as you're subjected to vivid dreams of Carcosa, its black stars, twin suns, Shattered Moons, and Twisted Spires, all of which, Zach, you can see on that prototype of your mm. Carcosa board there. If you look at the uh, it's, it's all black stars, you've got sense. the moon, look you've got that. the, yeah, Jonathan just, knows what he's doing. Gold's hard to capture on a, this, this screen, but you can kind of see it. Look at that. Isn't it cool? Like this, I love you the got the stars, you got the moon, you got the Twisted Spire, the, the whole thing is there. Mm. Uh, okay, so... This is an interesting prompt, Zach. It says, continue to dream one, don't get lost. Dream one, don't get lost. So don't get lost. That's all we need to remember. Don't get lost. Oh, wow, there's a billion dreams. The replayability is high. And we might go to different ones. Oh, my gosh, there's a tremendous amount. This is going to be awesome. It's like we get to do a little role play thing here. Can you need to dream one? Okay, well, where is it? It says dream five. Wait. This is this meant to drive me insane? Yes, it absolutely is meant to do that. Look at the way they've done this. Five, four, eight, twelve, two, nine, one, seven, ten. It's an exercise in madness, Zach. Nothing makes sense. Ah, uh, it says don't get lost. Dream one. You fall through the empty abyss of Holly. Can I can I pause for a second? Yeah. The idea that they are like, hey, don't get lost, and then you flip, and it's intentionally confusing in the rules. Yeah. There's there's a there's a tone around this game, and like a, a vibe, that is so good. Like they're they're just committed. They know once you're this far in, you're not quitting. We talked you about we talked about atmosphere in the podcast this morning. I think we're gonna talk a lot more atmosphere. about it next week. Atmosphere. Um, you can do this digitally. But like, that is a great little moment. Even the fact that we can't say, you know what? Yeah is another one of those, like, you're just going one level. We're playing a game, and we've all agreed to the rules of this game, yeah. which are crazy. It's kind of like, it's almost like, you know the amount of buy-in? This is way less than that, but there's, I've always, I've considered trying to do, like, a LARP at some point, mm -hmm. live-action role-playing, uh, and the buy-in that everybody in that room has to have to that is tremendous, and that's why it's so good. So if somebody's not bought in, it's awful. Uh, so Arkham is, like, a, a couple steps down from that, but everybody around the table has to be bought in to, yeah. like, Let's get weird. All right, don't get lost and don't say you know what. You fall through the empty abyss of Holly. I'm going to read carefully so I don't say it on accident. Creatures of unknown and impossible origin lurk just beyond the darkness of your sight. The unnameable looms above you, magnificent and yet bound in his prison of madness, manipulating your torturous descent with a soul outstretched arm. Each investigator has earned the lost soul weakness. Shuffle one into each investigator's deck and continue to dream two. So Lost Soul says, weakness, madness, pact, revelation, check campaign log. If you have more doubt than conviction... We do not. Test is it, when you draw, it's what would happen. Yeah. If you have more conviction than doubt, you're going to test your brain. Okay, that's less good. Where X is your book, so you're going to have to test your brain against your book. <laughs> if you fail, you take two damage. Okay. Uh, we need to, all the doubt cards test our book and all the conviction cards test our brain. So I feel like we want book tests. So we need to go get some doubt. Yeah. Uh, sleeves? You want sleeves? Uh, yeah, they should be on my, they're on my, they're my stuff. I just put some in my box. Let me see if I can. You put my sleeves in your box? It's my sleeves in your box. 
Uh, it's in, in my champions stuff. You can just take the lid off, and there's a whole bunch of. Oh, you'll see a big thing of sleeves. <laughs> Mattis says, that weakness test stuns my head. Yeah. <laughs> Vincent says, I wish you guys would take horror for saying book and brain. <laughs> what about gas mask? I like the gas mask. Everyone knows what the gas mask is. Actually, most people are like, I've never heard it called the gas mask. Right. I'm going to shuffle this in. I agree, Alex. You said they should get the rights to Scooby-Doo to make an Arkham LCG expansion, kind of like Barkham Horror. I, I think it would be hilarious. I would love to do Scooby-Doo version of this. Boop, 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 boop. It's always a guy in a mask at the yeah. end. It's never the creepy thing, though. Yep. It's, it's like the, the more innocent version of Arkham. Yeah, we already know. See, I love Scooby-Doo as a kid. I didn't know. It was Arkham Roots. That's right. It was right out of Lovecraft. Dream 2. Constance takes your hand and pulls you onto the polished dance floor. Come now, don't be shy. Tonight is a night for dancing for celebration. So the first one we were falling through some portal and then you know who was above us mm -hmm. being creepy. Mm -hmm. And then now she's telling Constance? Constance, is yeah. the Remember lady Constance that we uh, defeated? Right here, Domain. Didn't we deal with her? Is uh, she is slain, yeah. Haunting us? She, we interviewed her and then we sl slew her. Check the campaign log if the Kim king claimed its victims, not if the above is not true, if you intruded on a secret meeting, that sounds familiar. Did we do that? Uh, did we intrude? No, no, no. I don't have that written down. If the above, if you intruded, if you slayed the monsters at the dinner party, I don't think we did any of this. Mm -mm. That dinner party was garbage for us. If none are true, continue to dream six. Okay, I'm over here not getting lost. The lights of the theater dim and a spotlight shines on the stage. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The creature exclaims. Making sure we did this right. Yeah, we didn't go back into the nope, thing, right? No, we, we got... Okay. Its many tentacles reach across the stage, up into the rafters, and throughout the aisles. It tears the curtains down, and tattered red cloth falls over its bulbous form. That's like the thing we fought at the beginning, mm -hmm. the big weird opera blob. Check the campaign log. If the police are suspicious of you, they're not, right? Because we didn't steal anything. Yeah, that's right. Hands are clean. We know their patrols. We know the way out. We translated some glyphs, of course. We escaped the asylum. We heeded Daniel's warning, but no. Uh, so, they're not suspicious of you. Dream 8. Wow, I wonder... I wonder if there's like a pattern that we're making with this. You think it's like a yellow sign mm. if we were to trace it? Maybe. You peer in the mirror and the stranger peers back at you. Don't like that. His gaze drills into your mind. The mirror shatters. Was the guy with the mask? Yeah. The stranger. Check the campaign log. If there are three or fewer tally marks under chasing the stranger, we currently have one tally mark, so that's three or fewer. Continue to dream nine. You chase the stranger through dark, chilly passageways composed of hundreds of thousands of skeletal bodies. Skulls watch as you run. Uh, Jim's at his, at his home. And their mouths rattling a mocking taunt as you pass. The stranger reaches a solid wall of bone and is grabbed by bony hands and pulled into the wall. Their mocking laughs reach an awful crescendo. Don't like laughing bones, generally. Nope, not, not exactly what the doctor out. ordered. Daniel's voice calls out to you. They are opening the path to Carcosa. Continue to awakening. You awaken from your fitful dreams, sweating and gagging. This cannot go any longer. You have only one option if you are to continue your investigation. You must find Nigel Ingram, director of The King in Yellow, and architect of this madness. Only he will have the answers you seek. You pack your bags and plan your trip to Paris, the city of lights. We're looking for Nigel Ingram. If Jordan Perry was interviewed, Nope. <laughs> we Otherwise, did nothing. skip to setup. Uh, it just would have given us extra money. Now, here's here's my question before you continue. Yeah. Should we have drawn our cards before yes. this point? So technically, that weakness that we just shuffled in. Yeah, it wouldn't be there. But it won't matter because we draw it, it shuffles matter. back in anyway. That's right. All right. So do I now read the agenda? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're done. We're ready. Wait, let's do our things. Let's do our cards oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we, let's not spoil anything. All right. So we get how many? Five. 
And just remember, it's the mulligan you want. Yep. In not, every game. not the mulligan you deserve. <laughs> this is the uh, mulligan we all deserve. So I got my amnesia mulligan, so I'll go ahead and replace that for now. That's right. And all right, friends, let's see what we got working here. Ooh, weakness, weakness, storm, uncage. Let's get two freshies. That's actually awesome. Okay. So I actually tend to go in this. I do love having a one uncaged. That makes my starts way faster. I'm going to keep one recall the future. I'm going to ditch a storm and uncage in a Eureka. Okay. I have my favorite, Dr. William T. Mallison. I also have a Hawkeye folding camera. Seems OK in this scenario with all these locations. I could probably pretty yeah, quickly up into that. Yeah, make some pictures. I also got a shortcut, mm, which is a fun. fast move. Um, it's fine. Uh, and then I essentially have a beat cop and a practice makes did perfect. Did you take charisma? No. You did not take charisma. Mm -hmm. OK. Um, so I'm going to lean Malison and Hawkeye camera. I think cool. these are fine. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of an asset guy most of the time yeah. on, the, on the front end. As so you I'm going to put these aside and fill back up. Grizzly totem. There's the lone wolf and the olive. That's good. All right. Good mulligan. I have logical reasoning that I can heal you with. That's oh, all point. right. And then I got another shortcut. OK. That's actually going to be handy. Very handy. Where are we supposed to start? Did the setup tell us where to start? Probably didn't. The Phantom of Truth is what we're on here. Setup. Choose one, remove the others, put the remaining. Each investigator is good, I'll say. I'm trying to pronounce it like it sounded whenever I was in the train system. Oh, that looks awesome. Gildle I also noticed, I'm going to flip this Gildle over and seat. read it in a second, but it says it has Paris and then the trait rail. Rail, 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 rail. I assume this is the railway. Yeah. And these locations are not. Get it all. So let's read about the old station. Built in 1900, this train station was the first urban station in the world to use only electric trains. All right. Comes in with two clues. It's got four shroud. And it says, you'd expect the station to be bustling, but it's yeah, eerily course. abandoned, save for a few passengers who wander the station in slow, meandering steps. You can spend an action and a resource, move to any rail location. Awesome. We can ride the rails, man. I definitely feel like I'm in Europe. Yeah. It's the underground, the metro. Get over. John Gordon says, Zach, you've inspired me to build a Joe Diamond deck. What expansion is it coming? That's amazing to hear. Uh, I've been having a really good time. I'm not sure where he comes from. Circle undone. What's up, Joe's Pizza? Everyone, uh, hey everyone, listening as I drive for a haircut. All right, back to normal before I before awake. I'm gonna guess you're on your phone there, Joe. Or Joe's <laughs> Pizza. Thanks for the stream. I like the drinking game that Kang invented just now. Is the drinking game still how many times Steven rereads <laughs> chat after Zach? You guys, you we just don't get locked wanna, into the game. Man. We don't want to kill our audience. Okay, so it's interesting. <laughs> Apparently, people can't find the pack Joe's in. Is Circle Undone? Yeah. Yeah, Circle Undone. They're all disappearing because everybody's wanting to creep themselves out during COVID. All right. So, time for Jim and Joe to do what they do you best. You ready for me to read these? Yeah, let's go. All right, the first night, Agenda 1A. As you step off the train in Gare de d'Orsay, Gelsey. The sun sinks below, pardon my pronunciations, by the way. I am not French. Uh, the sun sinks below the Paris skyline. You cannot waste any time. If Nigel Ingram is somewhere in Paris, you have to find him and wring the answers from him one way or another. Well, you have more conviction than doubt. We do, yes. right? Yes. This agenda gains. When checking the doom threshold, doom on cards other than this agenda subtract from the total doom in play instead of adding to it. Way to go, conviction boys. We did it. Okay, so Doom and Play will subtract from the number. Yep. Very cool. Okay. The Parisian Conspiracy, Version 2, Act 1A. You pass the Church of St. Barnaby as you exit the train station. Cannot help but overhear the organ playing. Is so there, awesome. Is there a sermon this late in the evening? You marvel at the wild and strange chords for a moment before continuing. Paris is a big city and you have very few leads. Dot, 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 dot. I love these Arkham scenarios Ob so much. Objective, spend the requisite number of clues to advance. Which is four, because it's two per investigator. Was it? Objective, at the end of the round, if there are three or more Doom in play, advance. Oh. If three or more Doom are in play, or we spend four clues, we advance. So we want Doom, but Maybe. Doom in play will subtract from our Doom. Which is good. So we want Doom out Kinda here. Kind of good. Or we, could, or we don't want Doom out here so that we hit the three to advance the act. 
I yeah, we're gonna try for clues at all costs, right? Because generally Doom is kind of associated with. I'm just problems. assuming Doom is bad given yeah. its name. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Did okay. somebody review Arkham recently and, and and didn't like it? Wasn't there like a big review what? that happened? What? I, I, I remember that in the deep recesses. There is some. I saw some, like a uh, YouTube channel, um, recently. Yeah, there's like that's a what re- I remember. review popping up. Anyway. I don't know how you can hate this, because this is like the coolest thing. The atmosphere, just just the line that you pass the church, the organ's playing, there's nobody at the train station. It's like, you gotta love that, right? You do got to love it. Oh, right. there's no pun included, that's right. You ready? You didn't like this? What? S- at the start of this phase, I'm gonna flip this card in my inside deck. No Ooh, stone the unturned. old searchy, that's a good one up front. You may as well play it this time and get it out of your hand. I wouldn't mind it. Who's going first? Uh, me, because I can use this. You can be the lead investigator this this round, this game. We've got two clues here on a four shroud. That's a lot of clues. I don't have any way to get those guys. I'm in, I'm in build mode. Where are you on searches? Are you going to search for that fingerprint kid, or are you going to let me search for uh, spells? Do you, do you need a spell? I don't know if we're going to kill much in this one. But I feel like now is the time to set up. Now it's definitely the time. Yeah. So like, I have stuff to set up with. I've got, are you gonna move? It would be helpful if you moved. So my lone wolf would trigger next turn. But I can also move. I need like a lone wolf olive. Can you move, because if I flip to get the free clue card, mm, yeah, I feel like that's a fine spot yeah, for that's me great. Yeah, that's great, that's great. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna play a Hawkeye folding camera and a Dr. William T. Mallison. And then I'm going to use an action to play No Stone and Turn and let you look at the top six cards of your deck. Me? Yeah, I don't need it. Oh. <gasps> Astral Travel. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's look at this. Okay, friends. Hmm. Apparently, they forced themselves to play the Arkham campaigns back to back at the start of Corona. And they aren't good at the game, so they hated most of it. Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Now, we've got an interesting decision to make here. So, I can go ahead and get the safe bet, which is the rosary. Oh man, look, you had two weaknesses in the top six. Yeah, I know, right? That's fortuitous. It's very good. So, holy rosary is going to soak some sanity, which is good. Now, Jim's trumpet is going to heal sanity. This also gives me a, a plus. Dude, though, think about this. You got to play the trumpet. In you got to play right? the trumpet, dude. Yeah. You, Jim Cole, we're walking the streets of Paris at night, playing yeah. a sad song on that trumpet, man. Yeah. Okay. Then we're doing the trumpet, even though I think Rosary is better. Ben says, take a weakness every time. <laughs> I would if it was that, uh, if it was one that I could just get out of the deck and be done with it. Okay, easy. Easy, easy. I'm taking the trumpet. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Helps you find that trumpet. Mm-hmm. It was in your bag, Jim. Jim. You're forgetful. Idiot. Okay, so we can always go gardens to any of these locations, yeah? Nope. Nope. So the gardens, I can actually move to the gardens and then to Notre Dame. So basically, this is connected to all three of these. Mm -hmm. These, it's like a circle. Mm -hmm. This connects here, this connects here. So basically, we've got to go either be in the lower half of the city, then the train can take us to the upper half of the city. That's the only way to get up here, yeah? Uh, no. To actually use the this train. This goes there to there. Okay, so we could just walk from. And this goes there, but you have to go around. Peasants. Yeah. Mon ma. So, how about I spend time at the top part of the, of the world? Sure. And you spend time at the bottom? I like Notre Dame. Okay. So then I'm going to do. I can't. Where, where did we say the uh, organist was? Uh, just right outside of Gedolce. Let's do first action Olive, second Saint Barnaby, second action Jim's trumpet. So that's going to leave me with one, not Jim's trumpet. Second action Lone Wolf. Hmm. Yeah, you get that Lone Wolf churning. Yeah, I'm going to be riding the rails. And then third action Jim. Let's go to Montmartre. Hold on. Can I redo this? Now? Absolutely, and you should. You've heard this dis- district to be vibrant and friendly, but the streets feel unusually lonely to you. Well, it is Jim. 
Cold rain pelts the street. Every alleyway you pass is another hiding place for something sinister. Mm. Add one supply or ammo to a card for a resource. That's nice. You can resupply there. Not that we need that, you or I. Well, your fingerprint kit could be. It's got a supply on it, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, so done. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, end of the round. End of the round. One doom. Let's flip our mini cards to get in the habit mm -hmm. of it. And then flip them back over it. Then draw a card. Yep. <gasps> it's the black cat. Gain a resource. Me meow. <laughs> meow. Meowzers. I need charisma. And then uh, draw a card, gain a money, and then we go to the bad stuff. One on. Marked by the sign. Peril. Don't read the name out loud if it says it. Hmm. Okay. I love I love this already so very much. That's when I wish I had six cents back back in. Ultimately. All right, I'm going to ourselves a brain level. Commit this logical reasoning. Oh my gosh. Yep. My brain. So I'm a four brain. No, I need that bag. Good luck. Also, friends, uh, we've got we've got the new camera, the overhead attachment that we were talking about. So we can actually just rotate this camera out for the competitives and then back for the cooperatives. The camera's right here. You can see it. It's it's right like right above our faces. That's pretty awesome. Shout out to our subscribers much, and much content bigger members. Uh, play space. Yeah, content members, Arkham buyers, at all. I'm ahead by two. Okay, good luck. <laughs> to Tony's back with the zeros. I didn't need to commit that card, I guess. You did need uh, to commit it because results do not equal risk. That's right. That's called resulting. That's right. Don't result. All right. That, that, that card's gone. Hey, I have one too. Okay. We should have had that. But yes, shout out to everyone buying all the Mythos products from us and the Mythos uh, components and subscribers and content members. Uh, you guys are the best and allow us to do everything we're doing. I'll take a crack at this. Natty. Old Nats. I'm at plus two. Worst case scenario, I just take some horror. What's that anyway? I just want to clear Olive out of here. There you so. go, Olive. Ah, I wish I'd played the trumpet. Ah, uh, Skull, we would have healed the horror. Success. Come on. Success. Ha. Horror. <laughs> ha. Horror. <laughs> Hara. <laughs> All right, we did it. Back to us. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, well, let me flip this. Ooh, Cryptic Ooh, Research. Ooh, yeah, that card's great. It's fast and it's free. It's man. a free draw three. How about that? Picture this. Why don't you go first so that you can see what card you All get right, in yep. case that matters. Cryptic yeah. Research off the top of the deck. Just a three card draw. Scoop those two clues already, would you? I'm looking at it. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, we we can technically read Peril. We just can't help each other with the decision Make making the decision -making. or contribute cards to help. Yeah. Now, do I have a practiced skill card that lets me investigate better? I need to remember that stronger. You, you have perception and you have deduction, which gets you an extra clue. That would be the one yeah. that I want. Perception would end up drawing you two cards, deduction would get you the extra clue. And now deduction will go back in your hand, so you'll get double extra clue usage if you find it. You'll definitely find one thing that can boost your book unless you have awful luck, which you, you don't. <laughs> you just don't. All right, so <laughs> I'm... That's, that's frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't. Yeah, well, better to be lucky than good, they always say. Yeah. Um, all right. It's true in GURPS, that's for sure. Let's investigate. Lucky was busted in GURPS. It's four to four, but I'm going to play a practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, so I get to search the top nine for a practice card. <laughs> and I'm looking for a practiced card. Uh oh. It's a Wifferton. Yeah, I got it. Uh, which is deduction. Yes. So that would let me discover an extra clue if I get this right. And then you shuffle back in. Yeah, and you're one up right now. And I'm one up, so I'm going to commit some cards real quick. Dude, Joe Diamond knows how to play. <laughs> Joe Diamond knows how to party. <laughs> I love this deck. It's great. It's so good, I actually. I love it all. I love it all so much. All right. Let's see what we get. Uh, I'm ahead by one. I want to be ahead by more. Where's that curiosity when you need it? Um, unfortunately, 
Two is the number I'd have to be ahead by. You probably need to get to two, yeah. You can you can get by on, on one. It's just like probably a no. 40 to 50. I'm going to commit an archaic glyphs. Mm -hmm. So I'm going mm. to head by two. You're committing that glyphs? I got to. Is that the evade glyph? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's what we opted for. OK, well, don't fail. You said my luck's not bad. Let's see. You've got one, two, three. You've got four tokens that fail. Four out of 18? Yeah. I like my ass. Not the best. How about that superstar, though? That would be good. Nice. That's minus X is the amount of doom in play. And there's currently zero doom in play. All right. As I remember, guys, aren't the agenda cards out of play, technically? So that wouldn't count? At worst, it's still minus one. Yeah, you got it. No. Um, so a f first thing that happens is I get discovered two clues. Yep. Then because it was successful, deduction actually goes to my hand. That's right. And then, after I do that, I'm going to play Crack the Case. Uh, yeah, you are. Get some Fast money. play after Investigators covers the last remaining clue at your location. I just did that. Investigators gain a total of X resources equal to the Shroud. So that's four bucks. Oh, four bucks. And don't forget, you are a <laughs> proper tourist. Did you see what just happened there? <laughs> so that the is compression just like, is incredible. I love whoosh. It. <laughs> that is Joe, Pete Joe Diamond play right there. Joe. Practice makes perfect C Joe. Crazy. That was action one. Well practiced, Joe is the is the archetype. So I've got two actions left. What are you gonna do with all that money? Um, Ride the rails is what you're gonna do. Well, I think the first thing I'm gonna do. Okay, agenda is in play. Okay, good. Thank you. That's what I I just, couldn't remember. I know we had gone back and forth on that some other game. So. I'm gonna play this uh, before it gets crazy, which is a grizzly totem. Oh, nice. Love it. That would have so been very just, helpful on that test. Yeah, I, but I needed the money. Yeah. That's a, you know. Welcome to Arkham. Push and pull. Welcome to London. Uh, so then I think I'm just going to ride over to Notre Dame. Notre Dame? Are you okay with that? I'm totally fine with that. You got money to hit the till all you want. Uh, CJM3407, shout out to you here. I should have learned from these streams about Delve Too Deep Greed. Wife and I last night had the plan Delve Too Deep as, as her last action. That spawned a locked door that we couldn't get the final clue, and then we had to resign. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yep. Don't get Actually, greedy. Actually, you know what? I didn't realize the, the rail cost me money. I'm not going to do that. But you got the money. But let's just you do this. Let's it. save the money. I'm going to take a shortcut. Yeah, to the gardens. And I'm just going to move to the gardens. And then if I can investigate there, because I have a deduction plus one. Oh, yeah. That could just be really good. Yeah. Yeah. What's up on the gardens? Gardens of Luxembourg. The gardens of Luxembourg... Palace contains hundreds of scattered statues, monuments, and fountains. It would make for a relaxing walk if you hadn't come here to escape the winged creatures that screech and soar in the dark sky overhead. Oh, really? We didn't know that was the case, did we? While a Biaki enemy is moving, if there's an investigator at Gardens of Luxembourg, that enemy's location is considered to be connected to Gardens of Luxembourg. Okay. Three shroud, one clue per investigator, and victory one. Oh, now we're talking. That's the kind of Those are the kind of numbers we're looking to put up. So man. it's a three. I'm currently at a four. I can get to a six with deduction and probably clear that and get my second picture taken. I, I mean, I, I feel like that makes I sense. I can't hate that. You can I, also sit there and assume that whatever you flip on your next uh, go round could be a get a clue for free. Is it, do you still have the first action only, or do you always have the I think I, I think I got rid of that. Okay, cool. Then uh, take a crack at it. So I'm going to play, I'm going to investigate with a deduction. I'm going to make it plus two. So it's six to three. I'm going to head by three. Let's see what we get. Yeah. Yeah, man. And that would technically be enough clues for us to yep. move forward, move although right I might wait till next turn. Right on. Let's see what we get. Nice. It's a skull. It's a one, minus one. So I collect both. I'll take another picture. Yeah, this is so, a great turn, Joe. So now I have an extra book as well. Great job, Joe. Great job, Joe. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, that was my turn. Now what can you do? Well, I'm probably going to continue to build because we know that there's flying gargoyle things that are going to swarm us at some point. Biakis. If this is any indication. Yeah, I don't like the Biakis. So I, having not, did not having a spell right now is problematic. Yep. So I'm probably going to draw one to see it, take a crack at it, maybe hit the weakness. Then second, I'll probably play something, a two-coster. And then third action, I'll probably either move or take a crack at a clue. Three to two with three call out would be fun. Yep. So first action we're gonna draw. Good. Nicholas asking, what kind of storage solutions do you guys use for your card games? Anything in particular you recommend? Um, so oh. I, 
I had a, money for a, a variety of deck boxes and whatnot. Uh, unfortunately, the best like collection storage I have is the four row cardboard boxes that are fine. Um, I wish there was something better. So that's something we're on the lookout for. Um, and a problem that if someone doesn't eventually solve, we might just do ourselves. Second action, we're going to play the trumpet. Ba -da -ba -da -da. Start singing. They were singing. And they were singing. <laughs> <laughs> and then last action, what do you think? Do you think, should I just go ahead and take a crack at a clue? Or do, I think exploring may be the, the name of this game. Yeah, I think honestly. just seeing the locations is fine. Let's go to the Grand I love this from, Unal. from Northern Lights saying, Ooh, it's a theater. Joe's just sightseeing and snapping pictures around Paris, a proper tourist. Yeah, you're doing great. Okay, Le Theater, Le Theater du Grand Guanon specializes in horror shows of a graphic and sometimes a moral nature. It's among the smallest venues in Paris and one of the most popular. I don't really want to end my I, turn there. I would read that as Grand Guggenau. <laughs> Guggenau? Guggenau. Googly boogly. Oogly boogly. We can also go to the canal. This underground canal connects the river scene, or sign, sorry, to the canal de la Croix. I do like people talking on chat about this. What Arkham's doing with the return to boxes, those are great storage solutions to store all the like scenarios from that cycle and, and whatnot. I think that's really smart. I want to go to the canal. All right. Go it on. looks a, like it a, has a snake in it. He's though. a river man. It looks like it has a giant terrifying snake creature in it. <sighs> it's a time for choosing, dude. You could go to Les Marseilles. Les Marais. Les Marais. Marais. <laughs> Marais. Oh, I'm oh. sorry for everybody out there who speaks How do you, French. Yeah, I don't I'm know. sorry. I'm just sorry. Oh, man. Let's go up here. You go to opera. My, my worry is like something's going to trigger an enemy. And I, I literally... I mean, get a clue. No, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go to the Wignall. Um, oh, this is handy for me, actually. What does it say? Okay, what does it say? The Theater of the Grand Puppet. It's a three uh, shroud, one per clue, one per investigator. After you reveal, either take two horror or shuffle all non-weakness cards from your hand into your deck and draw an equal number. That's perfect. Let's go spell digging. Dude. One, two, I mean, these are all great cards, but your deck's full of great cards. You put great cards in it. My Recall the Future, I'm going to lose. Word of Protection, I'm going to lose, but that's fine. You might draw them right back. Dude. Might draw them right back. If you have nothing but good cards, you should always be okay with drawing new ones, right? I'm with it, dude. And it's victory one. Yeah, I'm gonna hopefully. I mean, I might come over and clear that. You may, you may reveal. Keep I can hit a spell that that clears them too. We shall see. Okay. See, this is why the upgraded deduction on two players is just not worth it. Like, look at all these two clues. There's also, though, if you told me I have Deciphered Reality, I would just go open every location up, and then you'd get, like, seven. That card is going to keep being a card I try to build around. OK. Cut this. It's always better when you cut. Now, I could draw into weaknesses. So this is actually a, Could. It's kind of an issue. There's probably at least one. No weaknesses and a level five shriveling. Hmm. I don't mind Having those. Having me cut is a good thing. I don't mind those. And the recall the futures back. Oh my gosh. Some and I say to live and learn. Come on, guys. Some say I've got Come the on. touch. Come on. Okay, so draw a card, Jim's trumpet, Grand Guggenol. Guggenol. Done. Guggenol. Guggenol. All right, so first. That's Lone Wolf, John. So Ask we him. gain a buck, we gain a card, and then we ready up. Ready our cards. Gain a buck, gain a card. Oh man, it's the word of command. Yes. And then we're going to add a doom. So it's yep. two out of six. Then we get the bad cards. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> I get a swift Biaki. Oh no. I'm going to have to ride the rail down there. I could also malice in it out. What is it? A three? That's a that's one shriveling away, man. I mean, it's just too easy for me to deal with. But you have to get to a rail. You can't ride the rail. Mm, that's true. So can I go here, here, here? Yeah. So it's a it's a ways away. Now I could astral travel to you. I could also just punch it. Costs a lot of money. You got your guns anywhere? I mean, somewhere maybe. <laughs> In your deck. It's fine. I can deal with maybe, this. Maybe it's worth, yeah. If you think uh, you can like, deal with it, you're cool. The main thing is I have, I can just take punches. Because like I have, it's one and one. I have one turn mm -hmm. of just putting it on Malison. 
And like, I don't think it's worth you wasting time. Okay. I guess it's three health, so like. That's What's it. your plan to deal with it? Yeah, that's punching a better it. question. Just punching it three times? I don't like that at all. Or running from it. Hmm. Hmm. Where could you get? So let's see. You could always evade it, yeah. What's to evade two? Yeah. What are you? But you're like the slowest person on. I have Earth. a two, but I can make it a four. Okay. We can try that out. All right. We'll leave it. No Allison. And if I can't get away from it, then you might have to deal with it. Yeah. Assuming I don't get buried. Okay. And play other is buried and discard powder and draw him and shovel. Okay. So we actually don't need any more clues to advance the act, right? I have four. The pale mask beckons. Yeah. So we can go ahead and do it this time. So I got to bring the yellow man in. Okay. Spawn location furthest from all investigators. We so did a tough one, job two, of that. one, two, one, two, three, four. It's probably this one. Well, if it was location furthest from both of us, this is probably it because it's three from both of us. Is that three? One. Can I get there from here? Yeah, two. Yeah. So it's two from me. This is two from you. This is one, two, three from me. And two from me. Is this three from you? So we can decide. So that's three and two, or three and two. What's mm -hmm. he look like? He's aloof. Uh, investigate at plus two shroud. If you succeed, we defeat him. You so should put him closer to me than you. This one, then. Because I can go that way. There you go. And try to Let's get him to him, join our side. him as many times as we can. OK, done. Pale Mask has beckoned us. All right, start of the turn. I'm going to flip this card over. Working hunch. Ooh, that's nice. Is that fast? Yep. OK. So I need to run, move, working a hunch for a free clue, potentially clear off the clues. This will be exhausted if I succeed. Yep, and so it won't hunt. OK, so that, that's a, that, you got a reasonable shot here. Yeah. And then I'm going to basically play shriveling and then start kind of working my way through the locations towards you. Yeah. And I would honestly, yeah, we'll get to that. You ready to go? I'm ready. I'm just going to start. I'm going to try to evade, and I'm yep. going to commit a grizzly totem. Right on. Exhaust this, make it a plus two, so I'm a four to the two on the swift yep. biaki. Yep, yep. Can't, can't hate that. Can't argue with the facts. Here we go. Good luck. This is the task. This would be a good one. Nailed it, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Thank goodness for that grizzly totem. Am Clutch. Right? Clutch. Clutch that totem. So he's going to go there. Then I'm going to spend my second action to move to Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. It says... Spawn a swift the most, <laughs> Spawn a hunchback. The most famous cathedral in all of Paris and one of the finest examples of Gothic architecture in the world. Notre Dame de Paris, Our is, Lady of Paris. This is pre-fire, too. Isn't that is an icon that is crazy. Of the city. Light shines out from its stained glass windows, and you can hear a pipe organ inside, blaring mm -hmm. a bizarre, chaotic melody. As they do. Three shroud, two clues. Each enemy at Notre Dame gets minus one fight and plus one evade. Oh, great. Okay. It's Test easy. six brain. If you succeed, either place a doom on the current agenda or remove a doom from the current agenda. Okay. Limit once per game. Okay. That's fine. So I never so, do that stuff in Arkham, by the way. Can you imagine a deciphered reality? Oh, my God. It would be so good. <laughs> Um, all right, and then... You, you've got a crack here, so you got... Now, are we going to advance? So I evaded and moved. I, I, I think, think it's as good a time as any, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to spend four. Now, the, assuming, yeah, because you'll work the hunch here, right? Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and do that now, in case having an extra clue, in case, like, Malison could help you, like, we draw encounter that's, cards. That's totally that. fair. So I'm going to fast work in a hunch, get a clue, then still use the action spend four, yeah. to spend four clues, and we'll advance... Very cool. The I act. feel like you always want a clue for Malison, you yeah. know? Act 2A, Pursuing Shadows, the chords that echo in your mind, the infernal man whose organ plane intrigues and terrifies you. Perhaps there's a connection between the shadowy presence and the king in yellow? Reaction, after you successfully attack the organist, an investigator or location may place one of his or her clues on the organist. Group limit one per investigator times per round, so twice a round. Okay. Objective of there are three... Per invest, invest, clues per investigator on the organist advance. Six clues on the organist to advance. And he's not even in play. Where's the organist? We don't know. He's set aside. Did, we have, did you read the back of the act? Oh, I didn't. I skipped that every time. We probably put him in. <laughs> act 1A. 
If you spent clues to advance, the organ you heard earlier continues to haunt you. No matter where you are, the torturous chords play over and over in your head. The sensation that you're being watched tugs at your mind. Spawn the set aside the organist enemy at the location farthest from all investigators. Same place, I guess? Or the canal? But I moved. Oh, yeah. Uh, advanced Act 2A, stalked by Shadow. Okay, so one, two, one, two, one, two. We're two away from everything. This one? Yeah, we're two away from I don't want to have to go through Biaki, though. No. That's what we're well, going here. Yeah, yep, that's right. He's at the canal. Who would have known? I think that's the wrong act, too. You should have the other act. What do we have? We had version two of act one. Yeah, and then there's a version two act two or anything. Is there? Is there? I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you have more doubt than conviction, no. If you have more conviction than doubt, use Act 1. The other version of Act 1 is removed from the game. That's it. No, that's right. We have more conviction than doubt. Josh says the setup doesn't have you remove the wrong act from the game at the start for some reason. So does that mean we do version 2 of all the different acts, maybe? Let's see if there's a... Uh, are there, like, version 2s of all of them? There were, I didn't see any. 2A, 2A, 1A, 1A version 2. And then we, which of the 2As do we go to? 2A is talked by shadows. So this one. Mm. This is pursuing this one's stock. Mm. That's what we're talking about. Okay. So Act 1 is gone. And then Act 2A is here. And is it the same thing? Probably not. Because there's two sides of the organist as well. And it told me to play Hopeless, I Defied Him. Oh, He's okay. the hunter version versus the aloof version. Okay. So we put in the the version of the organist that is. Uh... Oh, it says to go to Act 2A, stocked by shadows. Okay, that's right. Advance to Act 2A, stocked by shadows. Set the organist enemy at the location farthest. Hopeless, I defied him. Advance to stocked by shadows. Okay, right, we're here. So then read the right one. Okay. I knew that every time I met him brought him nearer to the accomplishment of his purpose and my fate, and still I tried to save myself. That's from Robert W. Chambers in The Court of the Dragon. Very cool. Spend two clues as a group. Either place one doom on the current agenda or automatically evade the organist. Objective, survive three nights. Mm. Do not advance until you are instructed. Okay. So we can spend two clues to add a doom on the current agenda. Or evade the organist. Or evade the organist. And the organist hopeless I defied him. Humanoid avatar elite hunter cannot be damaged. Forced, after the organist moves from the hunter keyword, if it is unengaged, resolve its hunter keyword again. The organist cannot attack this phase. Limit so he can move him. twice, but he can't attack at the end of it. Okay. So he moves, if he's not engaged, he moves again, but he doesn't attack. And he cannot be attacked. Okay, so he's just going to annoy us forever. He cannot be damaged. After he moves twice, and he just hits us with three sanity if we don't evade him. Uh -huh. And we got to spend clues to evade him or three foot. The question is, how do we survive a night? Well, we don't know, Zach. We don't know. We just don't know. All right, I have one action left. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to get this clue. All right, clues can't hurt. They're always worth evading. And we can spend two as a group to evade. So you can evade for me even if I'm yeah. over in La La Land. Uh, all right. So I'm at a five to three. I'm ahead by two. It's a pretty fine test. We're going to try to clear the Notre Dame. OK. You don't want to be here when the organist is around. He can't. He gets plus one evade. But you can always spin the clues. Yeah. All right. I got another skull. So it's minus two, but I'm ahead by two. So right. I'll clear this, and I will Man. take another picture. Give me the skulls, though. And that's my turn. OK. So Agenda 1A is literally called the first night. That's uh, worth spanner. That's good. Yeah, so it's called the first night. So, so we basically have to survive to the end. And so we can spin clues to add doom so we can accelerate the agenda while the organist is chasing us around. Mm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So maybe shriveling isn't the play here. I mean, this guy's still flying around. You're done, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we got to get that. Let's keep the enemies to a minimum, yeah? All so, right. Start my turn. I'll get Lone Wolf here. I feel like macro, what I would like to have happen. Oh, you know what's bad? Yes. I have clues, technically. Uh, 
he's got Hunter, mm -hmm. so he's going to come to me because mm -hmm. I'm only two away. But then he won't attack you. He won't attack me, but then I have to, like, spend clues to run. Yeah. But so, if we're spending clues to run, we're not spending clues to advance the Doom. I see how this works. So what I should have probably done is, like, move down here instead of investigating. Ah, you get, having two clues means you, you can do it if you don't. Yeah. This is... Let's also just keep our eyes on victory points while we're here. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but what I was going to say is, like, I really what I wanted to have happen is to draw him... Because, like, I'm curious what this guy does. He just hangs out. But I mean, like, dealing with him. So... To deal with him, yeah, I, I want to know the shroud of this location. That that will tell us everything. So we can defeat him by basically investigating his location. But like there are cards like this that say if the man in the pallid mask is around, things are bad. It's kind of like being poisoned. Which is why I want to get rid of him. Yeah. But yeah. that's where... That's a handy thing to you, want to do. So like... Because I'm thinking like we want to kite him around, right? Yeah, we really do. Yeah. But, you know, the first one, what do you got to probably pay clues as a fast action to evade him and then move a couple of spaces? So, like, here's what I'm wondering is, like... You can move three. if Because I can pay clues for him to evade you. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you were, like, here mm -hmm. and he and we... Because he's equidistant, so he comes to you. Mm -hmm. um, I can get into that. And then that lets me still go over there to deal with old Pallid Mask Man. I could do, like, a shriveling move move. Here. Well, he would attack you on that one. Yeah, that's true. That's a problem. Because basically what I need is him to go this way so that I can go here. I wonder if there's... Is there a fast action window after Hunter resolves and before the attack is made? They're going to answer that before you get to it. Yeah. Uh, the prey is nothing. Yeah, he doesn't have any prey on him, unfortunately. But my thing is, like, if you, if you get him to go this way... Then like it starts spinning. He's gonna chase you around. Mm-hmm. Well, then you can I go end here up here and go this way. Yeah. And then I get all these other clues. Because I also need to end up here with yep. this thing. So he'll ready, but then by next round, ultimately, it's like move, move. Then he's gonna come over to you, and you can actually fight him. He'll be back here with you. He'll be exhausted though. He'll be evaded. Mm -hmm. He'll he's slow for a turn. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, apparently these are connected. So he's two away from you right now. Yeah. That's so actually if, great. If I end up here, I'll take an attack. So we can just send him up to me is what you're saying. And or I can evade here, for you. Right? One, two. Yeah, but if he's here, he's not further away from you when you go down here. I'm also further away from the Biaki. I want to set up a turn where I can go move, move, kill this thing. Because I don't want it to hunt and then do damage. Yeah. That's the thing I'm trying to avoid basically yeah, all the time. I'm with you. Uh, so I think basically I'm looking at a probably a first action shrivel. Second action is going to be going down to the opera, and then third action trying to do something. Now I could also draw, move, draw shrivel, move. Also is reasonable. I like that. It's a reasonable action. Yeah, because then he comes to you. Then I'll evade him at the start of the turn, so he's going to be stuck. And you can move, move, nuke. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to basically evade him for you, and I'm going to move up there and see what this is all about. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like okay. that a lot. Okay. All right, I like them. I like that. All right, so I'm going to start by drawing. Oh, my gosh, it's the perfect draw, Zach. This is why you build a great deck. You, <laughs> I drew the minus three to a spell. Mm. So good. Uh, so second action, uncage the soul for shriveling for free. Oof. How about them apples? You like these apples? Slice them, dice them, saute them. <laughs> Put them in the pie. Put them in the pie, man. Put them in the tea. Third action. Mm. Move here. Yeah, I think that's exactly it. And you're revealing these so I know where to go to get the most clues. The Palais Garnier is an ar ornate architectural masterpiece, one of the most famous opera houses in the world. Strangely, yes. you find the main doors thrown wide open and a dark mist creeping out from the doorway. Hmm. Is that really that strange these days? Sounds like somewhere I would enter. Six shroud, two clues. When you're investigating, double the value of your skill. So I'd be investigating at a six. You'd be investigating at a nine, ten. ten. Yeah, because I have plus one. So you, you're a good little investigator, everything. Okay. That's great. I'm gonna come sweep all these up. 
and clean that out. I like that. Okay. It, it'll be good. Okay, great. So we're going to do the old... Uh, we're going to do the old... Boil them, mash them, put them in a the stew. Running around. Okay, here we go. End of the round. End of the round. Everything ready. So everything ready is including the enemies. But they don't move this turn. Hunter does fire. Yeah, so Hunter oh, really? fires an organist. So think of it as Mythos phase, where we do the bad cards. Player phase, Hunter and attacks. And then we draw a card, gain a resource. Weird. I thought the turn you evaded something, it didn't get to hunt. It will not get to hunt, because it will ready after the hunting has already happened. So it's Hunter and then unexhaust. Gotcha. So Hunter already passed. Hunter passed for him, but the organist is still Got you. I thought you were sure. saying he moves. I was like, I didn't understand that right ever. No, nah, yeah. He's he not going to move. And this happens before we draw? Yeah. And that happens before we draw. So, right, you so get... the organist comes in and hangs out with me. <laughs> Let me draw a card. Gain a resource. Sorry. Oh, I, th- I can turn this to a three. That's right. We made him like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. It's your boy. It's your boy. It's your boy, Jacques. Okay. Uh, so that's all happened. Things have hunted. Attack. Doesn't attack this phase because of the text. Then draw a card, gain a resource, add a doom. Did it. Draw a and card. And bad cards. Already drew a card. This is the card I meant to draw. Twin Suns. It's a Star Wars reference. Test for book. If I fail, I must either remove a Doom from the current agenda or take a horror for each point I failed by. I'm at a five. That's a fine test. Let's yeah. take it. I might, yeah. I might end up with a horror or two, but what's that? What's horror anyway? What's horror, Lebowski? I take one horror. Take one horror, okay. Not a big deal. Thank you, Malison. Let's see what old Jim's got to deal with. Oh. Well, this is annoying. Okay, either take, spend a clue or take two damage. Well, I can't spend a clue. So the question is, do I want to ditch Olive? Because I have Black Cat in hand. I think you do. You think so? She's got three sanity she can soak, and that's one swing from the organist. So like. I'm going to play it cool here and just take two. All right. Yeah, I think th- I thought it was sanity. So it's damage. That's fine. It's damage. Yeah. Now, I'm still about halfway there, so we gotta we got to watch out. Okay. And then it's back to us, Back right? to us, yeah. Let's flip my inside deck. Extensive research. Reduce cost to mm. play it by one for each of the card in my hand. Only two currently. Need some cards, bro. Uh, but I can discover two. So right now it's eight because it's minus two for my insight, minus two cards. It costs me six. Mm-hmm. If I drew, Bold, drew, it would cost me got, four. Yeah, that's fascinating. So move, draw, play is actually not terrible. That'll keep you. That'll keep us in the evade Scooby Doo stuff. Like probably Montparnasse. <laughs> so bad, Montparnasse. So my thing would be move here because he's gonna hunt one. I don't want him on me. Oh, you're gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him unless something goes horribly wrong, which is possible. So like I was planning on moving here. He's aloof. Now, there are cards in the deck that say if the Man of the Pond Mask is, is in your location, he attacks you. But it's such a one sanity. What's the big deal? What could go wrong there? Mm-hmm. So move, draw, discover two. We assume there's two clues there, right? Mm-hmm. We are going to run out of clues at some point, too. I also have a potentially better investment of reason. I have a fingerprint kit. Mm-hmm. So it costs four, but it's three times that I get to maybe get two clues. That's worth noting. And you can refill it here. Yeah, so then that would also, like, that just stays in my deck. I'd shuffle and we'd try again. So at, the, at our best, what are we looking at? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got 14 clues. And we can only do that once around to add a doom. Yeah. So it's kind of like some evade. Now, that means we could technically evade seven times, and, and like, that would get us to at least the second night about halfway through. So, like, and when I evade him, he will be not hunting this next round. That's right. So it's two turns you buy, basically. So that's pretty good math. That's yeah. why, I like, the fingerprint kit seems fine to me. And you can always use your feet, too, if you, if, if you want to just evade yeah. him the old-fashioned way. And I can always just take three at some point. Not that you or I are fast at all. No. We're both extremely slow. That's not our game. <laughs> We're enjoying life one turn at a time. <laughs> all right, let's do this. I think I'm going to go fingerprint kit. I like that, yeah. All right, so I'm going to pay four for a fingerprint kit. It comes in with three supplies on it. And about th- I can basically refill it on my way over, which yeah. is my plan. Then I'm going to move. Let's just go. 
What's the cemetery say? There's nothing wrong there, right? Oh, man. The largest cemetery in Paris and its first garden cemetery, Pierre? 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 La Chaise is a beautiful, as beautiful as it is haunting. Oh, wait. Notre Dame is not connected to that, according what? to the chat. Mm. We need location connectors or something. Yeah. Someone should admit this. How so about Limo? Yeah. All right. The or do you just get this over with? It's the only one at the bottom that you haven't touched. I don't think so. I can rail down there at some point. Okay. Hopefully. I believe it. Uh, the historic district has recently become less aristocratic, but the old architectural masterwork remains. I feel like the thing about it is it's going to cost me an action to go down and actions to get back. And like that's just a lot of time mm -hmm. when I could be gathering all these clues. Uh, let's see. Throughout the region, you cannot shake the feeling that you are being watched. Something along the rooftops ducks just out of sight and each, each time you peer upward. Creepy. Reaction. <laughs> After your turn begins, if you are in this location, uh, draw a card. Okay. Comes in with two clues. Hey, that's so pretty good. I'm looking at this. I played a card I moved. If I can investigate with a fingerprint crit to clear it, Yeah. I get two clues. The next round, I'll start the turn, I'll get a card. Yeah. And that's going to be great. It's phenomenal. So I played a card. I moved. I'll investigate with my fingerprint kit. So I have a four, plus one for my Hawkeye camera, plus one for my fingerprint kit, making me a six to the three. I feel like a plus three is just fine. Theodore, it is a f it's a fast action to use the evade or the doom ability on the agenda. So we don't need to save an action for that, luckily. Nailed it. Got it? So I get two clues. Thank you, fingerprint kit. Now, actually, Malison is going to throw off our math here, so be very careful using Malison. Yeah. Well, you'll drop a clue back out. You can get it again. Yeah. Okay. It's not wasted. Uh, then I'll fast action spend two to evade Let's that evade for the organist. Get him out of here. Okay. Now, technically, I could fast action out of Doom. Not there yet. If it would advance that, I might think about it, but we're fine. I think I think we'll start that. We'll have to do probably an alternation on those. But, like, I'm going to have four. Like, I'm going to be able to do both a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you're here. You're the, you're the, basically the heavy lifter here. So first action, move here. Second action. Now I could also wait for the hunting to happen. You could like go here. Hmm, that's dangerous. Is it? You've been telling me to go there. First action, move. I could take a second action move. No, it would attack me if I if I leave it alone. Because so this location is better. Because it's going to take him two, so he won't hit you again? Yeah. I'll, I'll, let's stick to the plan. Second action, let's go here. And then third action, let's attack the... Biaki? Biaki. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Just But you get no further benefits. Hey, they might remove it somehow. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay. So then I'm going to attempt to shrivel here. So it's currently a fight of two. Uh, yeah. So fight of two to a three, four, seven to two. So I'm currently up five. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use olive. You need a skull. You know what? I'm gonna go and do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop in um, Eureka to get some card draw going. Eureka. So I'm at eight to its two. It's one. Oh, nice. Give me the skull. It's two. There it is. I don't really. It, shriveling is kind of weird, so we'll see if I actually want to resolve it. There's three. So the problem is if I resolve the skull, I heal one with the trumpet, but I also take two horror for shriveling. So that's a net of one horror that I don't want. So I'll just take a minus one, Got you. which I like a lot. So you shriveled him. Shriveled does three damage, so he's gone. And then Eureka resolves, so I search the top three for a card. That's the level five, shall we? Put it into my hand. That's level five. Yeah. Someone on chat asking if you have to be in the same location as the organist to spend clues to evade him. You don't. It's spend as a group. It says spend as a group, yeah. It says spend one clues as a group. Either place doesn't say anything about location. So look at my choices. I've got Ward, Delve Too Deep, and another Recall the Future. You know what I'm thinking? Let's delve. I'm going to go Warder Protection, Advanced Version. <clears throat> and this is play when Investigator at any location draws a Treachery card. I can cancel it. So if we get a really bad one, let me know. And then shuffle the deck. 
I, I need these extensive researches to come back around after I've gotten a, one of those draw threes again. Yeah, right, yeah. Sometimes it really Which will be fine. Works I'll, out. I'll get there. OK. That's a good turn. So move mute. Now my plan next turn is going to check out what's going on down here. And then let him come to you. That honestly would make Organist, as long if you end up here, Organist goes one, two. Well, these are connected. If I'm hanging, oh, they are connected, yeah. So he, but if he comes down to you, it's fine, as long as he doesn't do it on the first move. All right, I believe you. OK, exhausted, mm -hmm. exhausted. Exhausted. So now we go to the uh, end of that phase where we, oh, I need to gain a money for a long wolf, too. Nice, nice. Nice. Uh, so everything readies, including the enemies. Everything hunts, then everything readies. Uh, and then we draw a card. Gain a resource. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Everything's fine. Cool, cool, cool. OK, and then we go to the top of the round where we're going to add a Doom. All right, it's a four of six. I never wanted to see more Doom in my life. And then go ahead. Where's that card that adds a Doom? It's not in here, Ancient Evils. If that needs canceling, you let me know. Let old Jim know. He's going to play you a tune. It's called Hunted by Biaki. Test six foot. Uh uh. If you fail, reveal the top X cards in the encounter deck where X is the amount you failed by. If at least one Biaki enemy is revealed, choose and draw one of them. If at least one Omen treachery card is revealed, take a horror. That's fine. I'll take a Biaki chance. Because if you take a Biaki, it's like I move, 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 shrivel it again. Yeah, that's fine. Let's Biaki this up. Now, there's only so many shriveling charges. There's actually only so many Biakis, you know. too. You know what I mean? <laughs> I do know, but that's so going to get reshuffled. In. I'm at a two. <laughs> do I get a free charge here? No. Supplier ammo. Bummer. Minus one, so I fail by five. So I reveal the top five. Okay. And let's see what we get. And okay. what do you do? There's Doom cards, too. Each omen. If at least one Biaki is revealed, draw one of them. If at least one omen is revealed, take one horror and shuffle the encounter deck. So I drew a stealthy Biaki. Ooh, it's a big boy. So draw it and uh, shuffle. It's yours. Man, that's a two, two. Hmm. I don't want to waste a shriveling on that. Might have to, though. While it's uh, exhausted, it gets minus three fight. Hmm. Good to know. Then you're going to get a bad card. Yep. I might be able to evade it. It's just biding time. Ooh, I got myself a little Biaki there. All right, good. He's going to get shriveled. So that means I won't be able to hang out with you this turn. Unless there's Pathfinder or something involved that's interesting. I'm going to shuffle this. Okay, so we got two enemies. What could go wrong there? Nothing. Nothing. Right? Nothing. Nothing. We good. We're fine. We're fine. All right. Uh, start of the turn. Yep. Flip this. Preposterous sketches. That's what I wanted. You need to end up with a with a clue um, location. Well, I have two clues still, and he's. I gotta hunt this next round. I just need to trigger sketches. You gotta have a clue on your location, right? Oh, 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 oh. We assume oh, there will be one on the cemetery if you end up there, but, but you gotta I, get I rid like of that. I like this a lot. Get that Biaki thing. If you end up here, then old Organist is gonna be on you like, like a boss. I would go there then. Mm hmm. So I think the thing I have to do is run from this. Can you get out of there, do you think? Mm -hmm. Can you exhaust that? Mm hmm. Well, it's exhausted. It's minus three fight, which would be a wheel. I can't attack. This doesn't go there, does it? There's no moons, so I'd have to go one, two. Not, not, so my not third feasible. action. So my thing is, I think I'm going to run from this guy, move over there, and draw three cards. And then yeah. hopefully I draw three. I oh, draw. you get a free card, too, when your turn begins. It, but uh, we have to choose who's going first, right? Oh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. So then I'll be at, like six or seven cards. Then if I draw the two free clues thing, it's going to be bomb.com. OK, so it looks like I'm probably on kill. Let's, let's look at what happens if you fail your evade first. It would have to be a doom token, the, the token. 
Let's see what that looks like. I think that's the most critical part of the turn. Because if I fail on this, I just try it again, and then I end up somewhere that's relevant. So like, yeah. if you fail, then I might actually need to like roll up to and, and fight or something like that. All right, so start trying to draw a card? Yeah. Oh, God. Is that your weakness? Uh, lost soul. Yeah. Uh, check the campaign log. If we have more conviction than doubt, I yep. think that's the thing. I test brain. Yeah. Uh, where the test is equal to my book value. So okay. I have three brain because the camera, and I have four books. So it's a three you to four currently. Five book because of the camera, yeah. Mm. The book, the, the Hawkeye works both ways, good and bad memories. So three to five. I'll just take two damage. It's fine. Three to five. No buffies. Nope. Not unless I draw that plus two. Do you have practice makes perfect? Not my hand. Okay. Otherwise, I'd probably use it. Oh, you, you succeeded. No, no, you just failed mm -hmm. by two. I failed. <laughs> uh, so I'll put one on Malison and one on me. Yeah. Now, if you had a vicious blow in hand, I don't. that would be sick. There are things that would be good, but they don't exist. That's our, that's our answer to your thing. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is run. I'm going to commit to take the initiative. Mm. Uh, Using a grizzly totem. So no actions have been completed, so it's a three. Plus my stat of two is five, plus this makes it a six to three. So feeling all right? Only two tokens. There were only two. Yeah, someone's saying exhaust it and punch it. That's actually fair. I could just deal with it. Nailed it. It's exhausted. So it's currently a two test on your punch of four. You need cards, man. Yeah, I think I just. I, yeah, let's, let's move out of here. Yeah. All right, so let's move finally to the cemetery. Forced after you successfully investigate the cemetery, you cannot leave the cemetery until the end of the round, but it's also got victory one. Nice. Oh, and it's only four. a one shroud. Hey, this is a great place for the man in the pallid mask. Because all you got to do is investigate at a three, and you defeat him. Period? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. it's your location gets plus two, and then you investigate your location to kill him. This is awesome. So you only have to do a three. Like, usually he's on, like, a six, and he's impossible. Plus two shroud. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. It, that, that, now, I think. Instead of draw three? Ugh. I got to use this now. I know. I can just deal with it. He's not. All right, cool. cool. I also he's have just Malazan. a guy just hanging out. He's just Here's the thing. I also have Malazan. Yeah. So if I need to drop out one clue on that, I'm going to clear that out okay. with my All right. fingerprint. All right. All right. Just so my last action, preposterous sketches, draw three. Sure, it's fine. Oh, dude. Dude. Did you get those vicious blows? Everything about what I drew is what I want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready for my turn? Oh, my goodness. Archaic glyphs evasion version on the, the organist is amazing. Oh, that is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, first action, I'm going to shrivel this uh, Biaki. We're going to use Olive to Plus make the, the extra cards. They can be. If I flip the two, cl two clues, the 10 cost card is going to be amazing. Ugh. Olive. Plus one. Olive. Uh, olive, my girl. Olive. And a minus one. We'll cancel I'll take a zero on that test. All right, Biaki did. You're such a good shriveler. I know. Yeah, it's that's why you spin the five. Um, let's. If I go to Parnass, sounds awkward. One two versus one two. This goes here. It still does. Um, second action here. Now, now I technically could, you could go here. I could go here. And then does he, Notre Dame connect here? Yeah. Yes. So you just go here, he wastes his turn, you move down here. Or I could look at what's going on down here and then move up if I don't want to deal with uh, the organist. The uh, organist is fine. He has to move two to you. I just spend two clues and we're Yeah, I'm, okay, so I'm about to like rack up the clues. Second action, let's go to Montparnasse and see what's going on here. Uh, let me read this. Oh, I like one. that. That could be good for me. So the car is not looking good. The area is known for its cafes and bars. It is often frequented by starving artists. Perhaps some of these creative types will become famous someday. Most, you assume, will fade into obscurity. Fast action. Discard a card from your hand. Gain resources equal to the number of mental icons on the discarded card. Limit once per round. Yep. Turn brains to money. I don't need money. Also, I get one for Lone Wolf. Let's not forget. I've got money in different area codes right now. 
All right, so third action. So shrivel move. Start getting those clues, man. I think I'm going to keep building. OK. You know what I mean? I mean, as long as you keep cutting the organist, I'm going to clean house. I also yep. have the archaic glyph, so I will be able to lock him down sometimes, too. All right, let's play Recall the Future. What's that do? Let's make these. So I can call a token, and I get plus two if that token's revealed. So we're on the no fail gem build at this point. Mm. Got the trumpet. We got Recall the Future. All we're lacking is a ritual candles, and we'll never lose again. I love that Jim's hanging out with the starving artist. Yeah, man. We're just hanging. And in fact, this is a location I can probably get the clues from. Yeah, that's what uh, I'm saying. As needed. I've got the word of command to go get it. So all right, make that happen. End of the round. Everything. First of all, we resolve any hunters. There is currently one hunter. He's going to move here to hunt me, and then his tr ability will trigger. He'll engage me, and he will not attack because of the text. Then everything on the board readies. That Biaki is actually a problem. Uh, as long as we have eight, I can go move, move. That's what we'll crush. Do. And then everything readies, everything readies. And then we go cards and resource. Whew. Mm, the rosary, guys. Keep building, Jim. And then we go to the bad thing. So one on the agenda. Now we could also just advance it instead of evading. Bah. Playing a long game. Keep bad kiting. cards. Deadly fate. Test three brain. If I fail, discard cards from the top hand counter deck until an enemy is discarded. Either draw that enemy or the enemy attacks from the discard pile. If no enemy is discarded, take a horror instead. Testing three brain. I got three brain. Three to three. Yeah. If you fail, what happens? You discard until you hit an enemy. Let's just let's just not fail. I could water protection that also. Discard the card from the, until the enemy is discarded. You must either draw that enemy or that enemy attacks you from the discard pile. Ooh. I can just get three above it. OK. Know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's an easy test for you All if right. you get three. I'm going to use Grizzly Totem and Curiosity. I still have four cards in my hand, so it's got two, three. Yeah. Plus my three is six to three. Nice. Only two things fail here. The minus four and the tentacle. You don't even say its name. Minus three. Woo! Look at that. Good test. Good test. Swooshed it. I feel like I'm getting that, that the feel for what, what makes sense now in our game. Ah, Frozen in Fear. What an awful one. What's that do? The first time you move, fight, or evade each round, it costs one additional action. Ugh. So that shuts down our turn. Um, I'm going to Warder Protection that one. All right. So pay one. You just cancel it? I, yeah, I don't Frozen in Fear. That's definitely the t now is the time to put one on all of Yeah. Well, does it go away? Yeah, it's gone. Mm. Sweet. Don't mess with that. Okay. New round? New round. I have flipped my insight deck. Yep. <laughs> Extensive <laughs> research. Great It's news. magic. Great news. We need to get you over there on some of these weirder uh, ones. So are we going to evade the organist the hard way? So I think I'm. my actions are investigate to get rid of this guy. Right? Step one. Yeah. Step two, I actually think I'm going to... No, we don't draw off Grizzly Totem yet. It's not the upgraded version. But it will be, I assure you. Then I think we're going to draw mm. to make this cheaper. It's, it's minus two, so extensive research is eight. But I have four cards in hand, so it only costs four. If I draw, it only costs three. And mm -hmm. then I can, but I, I don't think I would use it yet. It's just so easy to get clues off of that. Yeah, I know. It's so easy. That's really best saved for the hard ones. Yeah. The, the tough so, ones. so then I think what I actually do. Is it really just pallid mask, fingerprint, fingerprint? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, let's start with the man. All right. So he's a what? Uh, I have to beat a three, and I've got a five. I'm ahead by two. You are a five, yeah. Oh, it would actually be six. Oh, no, I'm not using a fingerprint cut. I think I'm just going to take the initiative here. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's a three. I just want to make sure he goes. OK. I mean, there's no there's no downside to failing. That's I can do it again. You can try it again, yeah. OK, how about I just do this instead? I'm going to keep my cards. I'm at a four, five, two, three. So I just need it. It's a two 
I'll just do that until it happens. Yeah, you're up by two. That's a good test in this one. It's not a great test, but it's a good test. <laughs> How about that superstar there, Superstar, guys? swoosh. Defeat the man in the pallid mask. I can move an insight event from my discard pile to the bottom of my hunch deck. Let's see. Sketches cool. looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or cryptic research looks great. Cryptic research. It's the free draw three cards fast. That's the best one. Yeah. Yeah, that's going in. Love it. Paul, love it. All right. Uh, that was action one, so he's defeated, right? He's defeated. He's just gone. He's in my deck. Do we mark that on something? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think chasing the stranger every time we... Is that right, guys? Uh, <laughs> Cry the chasing the stranger. You mark one every time you defeat the pallid man, right? I think we're at two. Uh, make sure, but yeah, I believe that's right. Okay, and then second, good, good, good stuff here in the comments. I mean, it is worth knowing that. This is a one shroud, and it doesn't matter. But you're not really using the fingerprint kit to make the test easier. You're yeah, using it to like, compress. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. These are all. I can get all these. All those are fine. The one. The one doesn't matter. I, it's just. It's just time. You can also put an extra resource here, but you're spending an action to gain an action and a resource. So not really. Not really worth it. No? Yeah. So I think I just. I. I do this. Thank you guys. Yeah, we marked it. All right. Uh, fingerprint kit. We're at a four, f five, six, two, one. Should be good. I hope. I mean, there's one thing that fails. We know how that. We, we haven't seen it fail. yet either, so it, it's kind of waiting. That's how luck works, right? Minus luck. one. Luck always Score remembers. Score two. Now, before I use this last action, here's my theory. I think I can go ahead and. Uh, you go ahead and just evade this guy while well, we're here. Well, I can go ahead and advance. Ugh. What if something awful happens? I mean. I guess, we, you know what, we can just wait. It's going to end do it at the end of the round. We can just wait, yeah. All right. We can just wait. So then I'll use the other charge on the fingerprint kit. Oh, fingerprint exhaust. That's mm. the thing we always forget, yeah. So I won't use the other charge. So now you've got an action that's floating, basically. You could always just do a standard clue gather and then start a next turn standard clue gather and then move on. I could also just draw a card. Yep. Could be a weakness. No, it couldn't be for you. Yours yeah, is it your could be the deck, discard right? everything but one. Um, my amnesia. That was the yeah. one from this scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No good. But if I'm going to get my weakness, I'd rather be now than... That's fair. Yeah, maybe. Or, no, this is the better one to do. Archaic Glyphs. Yeah, of course. Three charges on mm -hmm. it. Um, <laughs> just like free perfect. evasion, yeah. waiting. Absolutely perfect. Uh, which is Don't you love this in an arcane slot now? Yeah. Just hanging out. I got my necklace on. Got my arcane going. Got my Hawkeye camera in one hand, my fingerprint kit in the other, and Malison's yep. following in tow. All Organist, right. evade? Yep, you got it. So we think the right call here is... Move, move, attack. Yeah, I think so. Just clear the enemy. Because mm -hmm. he's going to stay here. Start the turn. I need a turn where I can play some cards. I've got so many good cards here that I need to play. Well, you, well yeah. As long as you don't get another enemy at the first of, during this encounter, yeah. you'll have that turn. All right. First draw or move. Second is move. A stealthy man. And then third action, we'll go ahead and shrivel. And I'm going to use olive on this one. And for recall the future, there's math here. I don't know the math well enough. What's the question? Oh, just like what do you call? So I'm currently at a four, five, six, seven to five. So I'm currently up to, I'm drawing three tokens. And I need to call something with Recall the Future that would give me a plus two. I think it's going to be a minus three. I think it can be a minus three. Because a minus three would sink you. A minus three plus a number of other bad things would be bad. And there's two minus threes in the bag. You could also like min-max it where there's three zeros and there's three skulls. So if I call a skull, 
I could likely get one skull, which would still contribute essentially a plus two to the test, no matter how you slice it. But I feel like knocking out the threes. I think so. Means because if you get skulls or minus ones or the minus two and Look, a zero or a skull. Let's call them minus three. All right. Nothing but symbols, yo. I've already passed the test, so this is boom. There it is. All right, so we'll resolve this. So this is a zero. This is a minus one. Because Jim turns all the skulls into zeros. Yeah. And then you're turning the three, minus three into a minus three plus two, which is negative one. You're correct. So skull, I'm going to use that to heal. Yep. Shriveling is going to do two damage. I'm going to take that to Olive, courtesy of the skull. Yep. She go. And then I'm going to pass the test. And Are you finding a little yucky. kitty cat in Paris? The kitty cat's coming out, man. That's right. Boom. Okay. And that's the end of that. So thank you, Jim's Trumpet. Jim's Trumpet. Nailed it. And recall the future. Thank you as well. You, you're working, Deck. It's working. It does come back. It's like the boomerang with soccer. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, okay. So move, move, uh, exhaust. Okay. So then everything readies? Everything readies. There's no hunters that need to hunt. The Uranus readies, but he's gonna just rain. hanging out. We draw a card, gain a resource. My favorite part of the turn. Oof. Oh, money in the bank. Wrong time for this one. Final Rhapsody. Oof. What's that Five do? tokens. Each skull or tentacle take one damage and one horror. So if somehow I reveal all three skulls in the tentacle, I will just die. Right before Black Cat comes out too. Which is the whole point of Black Cat. Oh my gosh. Whew. Two all right. skulls and a tentacle. Three and three. Three now, damage. Now, it's not a skill test. I wish I could heal off of that. So I'll take one, two, three. And one, two, three. Thank goodness that Black Cat's coming. Yeah, I really wish right then and there. It's just like, all right, soak it all. Discard Black Cat. Keep moving. Yeah. It's horrible. Okay, that's a bad draw for me, and I accept that. Um, that's the nature of the game. It's the nature of the game. So, Doom, advance? Yeah. And then we'll draw this the back This could be cards. really bad. The first night, birds start to chirp eagerly. An orange tent slowly spreads across the sky as the creatures of the night shrink back into the darkness. You spend most of the day resting, and the daylight passes quickly with very little to show for it. Before you're able to fully recover from the previous night's events, it is evening once more. Each investigator disengages from each enemy, engage with him or her, and may move to a connecting location. Disengages and may move to a connecting location. Hmm. I, let's see. I'm going to move to your location. Okay. Because there could be a test that does damage to me that I need you to contribute cards yep, to help that's with. that's smart. Yeah. The organist move one, or move the organist one location away from the nearest investigator to a location with no investigators, if possible. That doesn't connect. It doesn't? Notre Dame doesn't? No. Yeah, no. plus sign on the bottom there, plus sign on the top here. Well, it moves. he moves one location away from us. Oh. So it doesn't connect to this. Oh, he just goes to one away from but us. But I'm going to say this one. Is that one away? Yeah. So that it's clear for, for mm, the, yeah, for the, the run. Yeah, get the straight shot, for sure. All right, the second night. Agenda 2A. The city stirs as cold shadows embrace the streets. There's danger all around you. Danger that you cannot escape. Danger that will follow you to the ends of the earth. When will this waking nightmare end? While you have more conviction than doubt, which we do, this agenda gains. When checking the doom threshold on cards other mm -hmm. than this agenda, subtract the total doom in play instead of adding it. So this agenda, that doesn't count for. But any other check on doom you subtract the total doom in play instead of adding. Yeah, same as it was, right? So any if there is doom in play, it's going to subtract rather than add. So it makes it bad for us to have doom yeah. in play because yeah. it makes it slow. Okay, so now we go to the bad cards, yeah? The shuffles. Now, if I get that one that's deal two damage or spend a clue, the game is over for me. Well, let's not allow that to happen. Yeah. Just hope to not draw it. In retrospect, I probably put two on Olive and take one Sanity and heal one Sanity. Just in case Final Rhapsody. I mean, the odds are low, but 
You gotta, you gotta honor it. Torturous chords. Test five brain. If you fail, put this into your threat area with a resource on it for each point you fail by. Each time you play a card, increase the cost of that card by one or remove a resource from Torturous Discord. Torturous chords. Um, let's see. This is a brain game. Oh wait, hold on. They say Malison is supposed to be running away. Is this the agenda? Where's agenda one? Is it under here? Malison? No, the other guy. Uh, each investigator would disengage. Move the organist one location away from the nearest investigator. Oh. So away would be as f like away from this us. direction. Yeah. So it buys us some time. That's good. That's yeah. better than. Bad. All right. Cool. I, th <laughs> I thought it meant one space away from us. That makes sense. Yeah. So I don't want to fail this because it's going to make everything cost money. If you fail, what happens? I put it into play with a resource on it for by for one, one resource on it for every one I fail by. Every time I play a card, I increase the cost of it by one, removing this card one from this. Mm -hmm. So if I fail by four, I get four. My next four cards cost plus four. How much more do you need to, to play, I guess, is the question. Well, uh, I like my second fingerprint kit. I can give you, well, I, I'm hesitant because now I'm so near death to give you anything that... Uh, I, I don't think I need you to. Okay. I'm at a three. I can boost it. I can get up to a seven. Okay. So I'm going to just take the initiative. Yeah, and totem. It's a good it. time for taking. So the now initiative. I'm a seven to a five. I'm ahead by two. And it's the degree to which you fail it gets bad. Yeah. So that's a good one to buff. Yeah. Hey, I see you, CJM. Thank you. Nice. So I passed. Passed it. All right, you're up. What's your bad card? My bad card is Spires of Carcosa. Attach the location. Place two Doom on it. Oh, this is a great place for this. <laughs> and then. Uh, you can investigate at this location to remove a doom instead of gaining clues. So I can actually do that because it's a one shroud. Your right. old Jim can play that play that game. Yeah. So I'm thinking my turn is going to be black cat investigate investigate. Perfect. You want to go ahead and do that? Yeah. Let me flip this first. Extensive research. Okay. How many cards you got? Three. Yeah. It's not. You had to spend them all early. Not the time. First action. Pay two for black cat. All right. Thank you. You have some protection now. Yeah, a little bit. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. And it heals on the superstar, so. Second action, let's investigate the spires. And is there anything that would do damage to me? Is the gas mask? No. Lose a resource? No. Okay. So it's a one shroud to yeah. my three? I read that. I, I knew what it meant. I just read it wrong. So if I failed by four on that, it would have four on it, and the next four cards I played would cost me my extra. One. So I'm currently succeeding by two, so I'm going to call the minus three. Yep. I like it. Success. Remove a doom. All right. And actually, seeing like a skull here would be nice. Play that horn, Jim. Oh, yeah. Money in the bank. Remove a doom. Remove a thing. <laughs> Sweeping those per Parisians off their feet. <laughs> That's right. They love lazy Jim Culver is just... Smooth jazz, Chet Baker style. That's the way I envision him playing, is like the old Chet Baker, like cool jazz. Uh, All right. Well, that's, yeah, right? Just you know, super... I love that kind of music. My dad raised me on that kind of music, man. Just lounge. Here's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm done. Think about your turn. I'm going to go hit the banyo. All right. I mean, my turn's pretty, uh... I should just stay here and draw Spires of Carcosa over and over. That's a good plan. Uh, I'm just going to check in with the audience while we're hanging out. How's everyone doing out there? Uh, do you feel like we're doing good, bad, or awesome against this scenario? I'm feeling pretty okay. I'm going to be able to keep sweeping up some clues. I have these archaic glyphs to run from the organist. Um, obviously, it's a survival game, trying to get through night three. But I'm, I'm feeling pretty all right. Josh saying we're doing pretty good. Yeah, Dane, that's really cool. He's, the Spire is basically saying that visions of this alien city erupting out from the ground in the distance, but if you investigate, you realize nothing's actually there. Josh says, worried about my first day at a new job in a couple hours. Well, hey, congrats on a new job. I know uh, finding jobs is a wild time. Um, a lot of just uncertainty and, and stress for a lot of people, so I'm happy you found a job, and hopefully it goes well. Um, Sending our best wishes, and you'll be in our you'll be in our thoughts. John asking Jim Culver deck working as intended. Um, yes, I think mine is getting punched up that that last turn. It, it was going pretty pretty good. 
Trismane saying, yeah, you have to heal Steve. He does have the cat who's got three and three, so he's 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 doing okay. You bet, Josh. Keep your chin up. Steve says I'm working but watching, trying to look like I'm working. Well, I won't say anything. Hopefully your boss isn't watching. Jim already saw his weakness, which is the big worry. Yeah, I mean, he kind of dealt with it, right? Now it's uh, cruising mode. People think we're doing pretty all right. All right You're a little beat up, but not... Yeah, uh, one away from death is never good. Well, I, you, know, you made it past your weakness, mm -hmm. and you have the cat. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully I can draw... I, I have another card in that heals. The logical reasoning still? Uh, there's, I have one of one and one of another. There's two different ones that do oh, it. Oh, yeah, nice. So there's another one in there, and I'm hoping I eventually get to okay. it. Okay, I would take it. Um, so... You, oh, you already did your turn. That's why you're flexed. Yeah, it's my turn. It's so I'm, turn. I'm thinking I'm gonna fingerprint kit to clear that off. Do you want to try to skip one ahead on the on the doom spending? Definitely gonna do that. But we should only we should hold off and do it when it's on four, so that but it immediately. It's advances. only limit. It's limit once per turn now. Mm. So I, I think I'll be able to do it multiple times. Yeah. Because I already have two. I'm gonna have two more. I'm coming this way to sweep these up. Mm -hmm. I also have the archaic glyphs, which is an even better evade. Yeah, so you think you think the organist is going to get on you next? I want turn? the organist on okay. me. That's fair. Um, I can probably come down here and grab these now that I've got recall. I just have to draw him to me. Yeah, and then well, I'm kind of just if doing the whole thing. Here, so I'm going to fingerprint kit and then probably move, move. Any cards? You and need then to play? he's going to come to me, mm -hmm. um, and I'm actually going to try to shake him off with this and use my clues just to keep pumping the gas. On I this. like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. And if you come down, I'll and try you, to swoop up. Mont yeah, Parnas any any support you can get, and also be around for enemies. Yeah, that mm. is the main thing. All right, let's fingerprint kit. Now, does this kit go away once it's empty? It does, right? Um, nothing does unless it tells you specifically. There's champions that does that. Yeah, because you can always add supplies of venture yeah, and that kind cool. of stuff. I'm at a six to one. Only one thing fails us. It's not the skull that fails us. Mm. Mm. We clear it. Technically, I take a picture of it. I've already played the trumpet this turn. I really wish it wasn't an exhaust. And then I... I could also stop here, get a card. I could card up. Mm. And then he doesn't come to me. Mm. Yet. We could we could make him dance... Uh, down? Well, his best path is what? Here and here? He, he has to go here first. Hmm. Yeah, so we'd go here. Yeah, that's not bad. But then you can't get past them. Well, I can, like, move. Oh, I can just exhaust them. We could just spend the you clues. You move there and I'll spend the clues anyway. I like saving those clues for the Doom advancement. I think that's going to save us. Yeah, I don't think that... Like, so technically I moved here. We can just send him this way. Yeah. And then you can move, exhaust him, and then get these two clues. I can move, exhaust like him with this. Mm -hmm. And then... We'll see where we go from there. Yeah, but stay, it helps. staying here means I get two cards basically. Yeah, which because I, I can use good. my action to get a card, and that'll give me an action a card at the start of the round. Plus, you're closer to me in case I get an enemy. All right, I'm in. So I'm going to use my last action just to draw a card. Evade value on the organist is three. Okay, so I investigated, cleared that. We get a victory point from it. Moved, drew a card, and then we're at the end of the round. That's right. So everything ready. Or hunter hunts. Psh, psh. Mm-hmm. Then we ready? Ready everything. Ready my card. Oh, wait. I'm also going to spend two to put a Doom on. Fast action. All right. Then we draw a card. Gain a resource. All right. Okay. And then we add a Doom. So two of five. Your card. Good luck. Thank you. Same old, same old, torturous chords. Oh, wait, Zach can't move. He discovered clues. Is that somewhere? Oh, this thing. Yeah. Yeah. So discover the clues, draw a card, draw a card instead. Which is um, one card shy. OK. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and I have a, no, I, that's all still fine. So that's all good. Uh, so then you get your bad card. Yep. Thank All you right. for that, uh, George. Thank you very much. Test. Keeping it clean. Five brain. It's those torturous chords again. Let me look. Oh, boy. I guess 
I'm at a three. I can get up to a five. What's money anyway? Like, what are you going to play with money? It's just plus one. Costs practice, a little more. Practice makes perfect. Cost you two. You can still play it. Let's just let's just take it. It's just a, it's five just a to my three. Hopefully, it's a plus one. Auto fail. Oh, what's so that it's mean? Five. It goes to the zero. Yeah. Five. So five. You're a poor man for the rest of the game. Nailed it. All right. <laughs> what's your card? My card. Twisted to his will. Test X, where X is the amount of doom in play. If you fail, discard two from your hand. That's so easy. So I will test four to its two, because there's currently two doom in play. I'm going to call okay. the minus three with recall. All right, you got it. Minus two. Pass. Nailed it. Get out of here. I'm going to discard your cards. Carcosa. OK. All right, so now it goes to our turn. And I shuffle this back. If you move first, I get a, I get a money. My turn is probably play. I definitely got to move first. Play rosary. Dude, I might do like a play rosary, play word of command, play wither, and just have a secondary fighting option because shriveling's about to run out. I got Ooh, my unsolved case. Unsolved. So do we get to interpret this again? Yeah. So Unsolved Case says, I can play it as a card, right, it's from an event. my deck. So you play it like you would play Cost four, so yeah. it would cost me two to do that. Three, technically, because it's a dumb card. Uh, place one of your clues on your location with the highest shroud. Remove Unsolved Case from the game. Forced, if this would be shuffled back into my hunch deck, that means if I leave it, I add it to my threat area instead. For the remainder of the game, mm -hmm. uh, it gains force. When the game ends, I get minus two experience points. So you pay three to get it out of your deck. Is that what that looks like? Is pay three to play it. And I place a clue on the location with the highest shroud. Let's do this again. It's an event, yep. so you just play it and resolve it. Place one of your clues on the location with the highest shroud, remove this from the game. So basically you lose a clue. Pay three, lose a clue, and then it's gone. Yeah. Which is actually funny because, is it the furthest away location it's in? Oh, here's what I do. Hmm. I spend the clues first. If you don't have any clues, you don't have to do that part. Oh yeah, they said yeah, that, yeah. didn't they? People said that out there. Yep. 100%. Are we sure about that? 100%. So I can spend the clues to add a doom. Then I can play this card. You can also move, move, spin to evade, and then play the card. So it just depends on what you, how you want to do your evading. Well, I can't move, move, evade, and play the card. The evade is fast on the clue spinning. Oh, that, that one. I was going to do this thing. That one is not. So either way, like if you want to remove that from the game, you can't also evade him unless you spend the two clues to do it. Well, I was thinking if I'm where I'm at, he's going to come to me. Then I evade him, and he's in the corner. Mm -hmm. It's true. If we just stay here, stay put. It, unless you really need that money, you can move. Mm -hmm. As long as you're at least two away from him, you'll come to me. Yeah. And I'll put him in the cemetery. I'd have to go one, two, three. I I might just stay here, man, because I've fun. got cards to play. And but we're just stalling for time. I think that's fine. We're so, just surviving. Yeah, let's just hang. So, in that case, first thing I'll do, let's spend clues to put a doom on. Mm. That's bold. Well, I have the glyphs. Right. Like, I can evade him way cheaper than the clues. That, that's the only way to that's add That's true. That's true. So, now I have three actions. And first action, I'm going to play this. Forced. Uh, or uh, when I play it, place one of my clues as the highest thing, and then remove it from the game. Gone. Two actions left. It's crazy. It works like that. I mean, mm -hmm. I, it does work like that. I know that for sure. But and that cost me three. Mm -hmm. So three, and I get rid of one of these tokens. <laughs> You're so poor. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Uh, if you play it off your hunch deck, it costs you one. Even if it costs two for the hunch, probably. Yeah. I'm just thinking, like... It cost me one extra, yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Well, at least always have one, so all your two-cost hunch cards will... Uh... So I, I think, honestly... Because hand size is, what, eight? Eight. Is, that, is normally six, or it's eight? It's always eight, yeah. And is my, isn't mine increased for some reason? No. There's a card that does that. What is that? Lab Assistant, I think, increases your hand by two, and then there's another one.
Cards are money. Yeah. So I think I gain one money and one card. Card first. Because then I'll be at max hand size. Let's draw a card. <laughs> They're all good. <laughs> and then I'll gain money. And we're just hanging out. I like. I, it's kind of weird. Like it's the opposite of what you know we do. All right. Because I'm also. If I could have drawn that heal you card, it would have been money. I'll stick around and waiting on it. First action. Let's play the Holy Rosary, because there's no better time for praying than this time. Amen. Uh, yeah. Uh, second action. Let's play Word of Command to go get a spell. I think we're going to go with the upgraded Wither. Just want to make sure, though. Now would be the time, by the way, for me to flip that 10 cost because it'll be free. So he comes to me and I evade him. Then I can move, move, and slam it. <laughs> slam a jamma. I could get the other shriveling, so it's going to be two damage. Withers only maybe two damage. But the problem is, I've still got only that, that got that five stat. That's not bad. I think I'm going to go with Wither because I'm tired of playing the, this is going to be a longer game. So last action, I'm going to play Wither. All right. Two. Yeah, we're just leaning back now. Well. Survive. Lean back in Arkham, you lose. But that's literally what we have to do. That is what we have to do, yeah. We're just surviving, man. We're survivors. All, All right. right, we're both done. End of the round? End of the round. Ready everything. Then Mr. Organist is going to come to me. Move, move to me. Hunter. Yep. yep, yep, yep. And then we draw and resource. Draw and resource. All right. I <laughs> drew the shriveling. <laughs> and nice. then we get a doom. We get a doom. Then we get the bad cards. Then we get the bad cards. How about that add a Doom card? Yeah, you, we're we're accelerating. Here. Torturous chords. <laughs> Who cares, man? Just let it let You're it burn. Just never playing a card again. Yeah, I'm at what three? Never again. <laughs> Five. Another tentacle. My friends. Everything it's that organist you. is making it happen. Everything cost you two. Ah, frozen in fear. Bummer. Kill it. Can't. Can I kill it? Uh, nope. There's no test involved. So it just cost me two actions to move, fight, or evade, and then I test at the end to get rid of it. Okay, that was not bad at all. This flips. Hmm. So evade, nope. You'd have to pay two to do it anyway. Yeah. It's a bummer. Yep. Yeah. Welcome to the new life. <laughs> Welcome to the new age. Okay, so my thing is I think I'm going to attempt to, because I want to get out of your location so you get your lone wolf. Sure, I get my money. So I'm going to attempt to evade here with the archaic glyphs. Yeah. Assuming that's successful, I'm going to use a fast action to move up here and see what we're dealing with. Mm, is that the shortcut? Yeah. Uh, and then, because he's exhausted, so I basically have some time. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, yeah. You're not investigating the cemetery when you use the arcane glyphs, right? It says investigate. Yeah, so I, I don't think that counts as investigating the cemetery. It's investigating at the cemetery, but I don't think you're investigating the cemetery. Okay. Yeah. Because so, it's not using a shroud and you, all of that. Good for me to go ahead and do that? Yeah, I'm good for it. Let's use arcane glyphs. And what is the test? Is it investigate. a test? I'm a... Um, what? Do, are you sure there's a heal me card in the, in your deck? Pretty sure. I couldn't guarantee what would the it. Card, what would the card do? It's heal? a blue card. The guardian card? Yep. Insight? Like, is there, yep. it's, not in, your hunch, insight. it's not in your hunch deck? I took it out because I put more draw cards in my hunch deck. Uh, but I left it in the deck because I didn't have the experience to replace it. And it's not logical reasoning. What's it called? <coughs> Guys, is there a guardian card? Because this is relevant. It's got the girl with a hat test. on it. That heals physical damage? Heals damage? I think it's horror or physical. And it's not logical reasoning. What else is the... Can I just look in your deck real quick? I'm not going to... I'm going to leave it un... If there's one in here, I have a play. Blue card, girl with a hat. Nope. Nobody's healing here. Nothing. All right. Don't have it. Don't have it. Okay, then I will not help you. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. I'm at a four, five... Five to one. Yeah. I was thinking about playing Eureka. You could search the top three, but... 
If it's not helping me, I'm not interested. I got the plus one. Nice. Nailed it. He's evaded. All right. So I got a boot scooting boogie here. Then I'm going to fast action. It's going to cost me two. <laughs> the worst. Did you remove him? Yeah. From there? Did you yeah, unplug him? Yeah, remove him and use okay. him. Nothing like pay two for uh, a fast action. And I'm going to hop up to the canal. Ooh, nice. Uh, it's four shroud with two clues on it. But it says after you evade an enemy uh, here, you can move it to a connecting location. Oh, that's handy. It's, yep. Um, so then I have two actions left. Dude, this is just gain as much experience in this scenario as possible. This is going to unlock all of our dreams. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and two, three, investigate. Four on board. It's at a four to my five. But. So first action evade, and now you're taking your second action. Yeah. Yep. We are going to make it. You got a deduction? A four to my, I'm at a five, it's at a four. Now I'm at seven. seven. Well, you've already got seven with the grizzly, don't you? Yeah. Eight, but I want the money. Woo! Money and the cards. I want, I want the card, I want both monies. All right. So the only thing that fails me is the. Uh, no, I don't fail. It's that easy, as far as I'm concerned. Nice, minus two. Okay, so perception lets me draw a card. Deduction lets me get both clues. And then I'm also gonna crack the case and get four money. Ugh, that's awesome. <laughs> well done. Is your, I think our chat might not be working for YouTube. Do you see two or three on your bottom there, bottom left? Nope. I'll refresh though. Looks like it may have been frozen. Huh. All right, we're gonna get back in with you guys. I'm just going to go straight to YouTube. So you got money, you got the clues. Man, you still have one action. I still have Did an you get the perception left. card draw? Yes. Okay. And then, I, yeah, I got the four money from... Oh, that would actually cost me two. So I actually only gained two, but that's fine. Ugh. Because I removed two from... Well, one from this. It's hilarious. And one from this. But at least you're clearing those out, right? Yeah. That is the goal. <laughs> uh, and then... We'll move to Montmartre. 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 <laughs> I'm not. I'm seeing none chats. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. I think YouTube's down. Okay, here we go. I got you guys. Yeah, we second wind is what we were thinking of. Second wind is the card that you. It looks like you maybe cut. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now we get all the rules get to roll in here. Okay, he needs to lay the inevitable. You shortcut, second wind. Uh, it does count as investigating the location. How is that true? How is that possibly true? So instead, can I fast action here with him? With my yes, uh, thing? Yes, you can. Yeah. And, and then, then he would just it. be yeah. exhausted here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, that's something. And I still would have passed that test. So you successfully investigate the cemetery if you do any investigate actions at the cemetery. Good to know. That's so strange to me. You're not investigating the cemetery, you're investigating the glyphs. Uh, crack the case, morning. What's up, David Whitfield? Are you just on YouTube? Yeah, Car yeah, Crush is great. chat failed to come through. And you have to have two to pay for crack the case before you can get the four, so you wouldn't have the money to do it. Oh, yeah, all, that right? makes sense. Yep. So then I'll put one back on, and I'll put this back in my hand. So you pay two for shortcut. You investigate to get rid of the organist. Then you investigate the canal. Yep. With the deduction and all of that. Yep. Don't have money for crack the case. And then you move. Yep. And this moves to here. Yeah. Okay, we're clean. We're very clean. Oh, and now you can actually move him one away if you want to. Because that's what this uh, says. Yeah, let's put him in back in the cemetery. You want to? Yeah, because you're going to move, right? No, I'm going to move. You got it's gonna it. It's going to cost me two, but I'm going to move. Frozen in fear, garbage. Okay. Oh, right, George, that makes sense. It, it gives you the clue as well. The evade gives you the clue as well. So I'll tell you what you do. So you get the deduction back, man. Oh. Yeah, because glyphs is an investigate, so it means you get a clue when you succeed and you evade the enemy. So deduction no longer gets played because there's only one clue on. So you deal with the perception and, and still now have you got deduction. the deduction. Yeah, okay, okay great. Thank you, guys. We're all here. That's great. It's way better. 
Okay, now over to me. I've got Frozen and Fear, so it cost me two, two actions to move. I'm going to. And I don't think I added a Doom this turn, right? You've not, no. But so we I don't can... want to advance it. Okay. Now let's hold, let's hold off. Because it might be Organist shows up and but jumps on him. somebody. Oh, but he's exhausted. You never know what the Doom thing's going to do, man. How but long I mean, like, have we been playing Arkham? And you're like, I won't for the longest do it. time, this... you're like, let's not advance the act. We now have six actions left. And now you're wanting to this just This is the throw opposite, the... though. This is the opposite land. It's they like They make us think that until the third one, probably. I'll I'm trust you. you. I'm just saying it could say, ready the Organist, engage the nearest investigator, and attack him or something. And it's like, well, maybe you got a fast action where you can... Uh, can make it happen. Uh, okay, and then we're using the downgraded version of Grizzly Totem. It might be showing up as the experienced one on the screen, but it's the unexperienced one, so we don't draw. Now get out of there and get that lone wolf going. All right, so first I start my turn. I got my money. Um, two actions. I'm kind of on a on a on a tear for Paul Nels. Yeah, but I also want to stay around because that's a good one to end in because you get a free card. It could be an enemy that jumps out. Yeah. And then last action. Mm. Oh, it wouldn't advance on next round anyway, because it. Yeah, that's right. So it'd be totally wasted. Yeah. That's what I meant. When that's I said what that. you really were saying. Oh, uh, last action. Draw? Draw money. I've got all these cards that are reactive. I'll draw. Mm, that's a good card to draw. All right, then end of my turn, test three, brain, and try to discard Frozen and Fear. I'll go to plus three with Eureka. So it's currently a five to a three. I'll go six to a three, and then I'll call minus four on Recall the Future. Makes sense to me. So there's one thing. One thing. Oh, yeah, this guy. Thank you. All right, it's good. Minus two. So Eureka resolves. I look at the top three cards. Grab the one that I like. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do. You got that delve too deep in your hand still? This one? I do not. But I'll get there. Don't, you wor don't worry, dude. Dig. We're 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 delving. We're I want to delve delving. in Paris, you know? We're definitely delving. One thing. I don't know why. <laughs> How hard you delve. That's right. <laughs> I could always black cat that symbol, too, if I needed to. I just don't need to. OK, we done? We done. Everything readies? That would uh, be unready. Yep. And then uh, card resource. Draw a card, gain a resource. Oof. Hypochondria. There it Actually, is. Actually, doesn't matter at all. Take a damage, take a direct horror. I guess it would for the, for the kitty. The kitty cat. Okay, uh, Doom, we advance? Yeah, let's advance. The second night ends. To your relief, the sun once again begins to rise, peeking just over the eastern horizon and casting long shadows across the city streets. All right, you are hope. You're completely exhausted from the night's events. It feels as though you haven't slept in weeks. Perhaps you haven't. Each investigator disengages from each enemy engaged with him or her and may move to a connecting location. I like where I'm at. Do you like where you're at? I might, I, might, I might roll in with you. Yeah, we can go this way, that way. I could also make my move for Montparnasse, but I, I don't know what it says yet. I so. think there's enough clues up here that we can read, and there's no victory on that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, move the organist one location away from the investigators, and it has to be away, so it can't happen. Can't. Check campaign log. If Jordan Perry is not listed under VIP slain. Yeah, he's probably coming out on it. Oh, God. Search the collection for Jordan Perry, an, an imposing presence, Ugh. and spawn him in Montparnasse. Oh, no. OK, good. Oh, sh if I'd gone down there? <whistles> eight. Uh, so Jordan Perry, two fight, eight health. At the beginning of the enemy phase, he heals one. He's got that cheapo evade, though. Come and get it. I'll exhaust him down. All right, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. The third night. Agenda 3A. On the evening of your third night in Paris, a desperate resolve stirs within you. This cat and mouse game cannot go on any longer. One way or another, this night will end. While you have more conviction than doubt, this agenda gains. We'll check in the doom threshold. Probably doom are cards. Them. Yeah, etc. 
Uh, so it's just got to get to five, and we're out of here. Five doom, and we're out of here. Well, at least we advance the act. <laughs> we could also try to kill Jordan before we leave to get him in the slain pile. We should do that. We yeah. get bad cards now. Let's start there. He's an imposing presence. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deadly fate. Test three brain. If I fail, discard the top card of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded. If no enemy is discarded, take a horror. Horror. Uh, what do you think? I would just want to pass it. Is it one does not simply pass? Well, I'll pass. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play, I'm what, a two, three to the three. Let's play an Inquiring Mind mm. to get three ahead of it. I'm going to mm -hmm. go ahead and just do four. I'm not going to need it for these clues. Yeah. So I'm ahead by four. Only one thing fails me. We know what it is. There's no deadly fate here. It's a skull. Oh, I'll take it. Jim's trumpet. Oh, is that Ooh. only when you're in the same place as me? Same location. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. Or a connecting location. All I can right. hear it from afar. We passed. What's yeah. your card? Thanks. Um, uh, my card. <laughs> Get this out of here. Twisted to his will. If there is no doom, it gains surge. Spires. Attach here. All right. To doom. And Jim's going to be working on that one. Yep. I'll, I'll deal with the mess that I've created. All right. Is there any victory here? Nope. Oh, it looks like only top left. All right. So I think... And so Jordan is going to hunt... Two spaces. No, so he only hunts one. So here and then here. Or You're going to cut him off of the pass? Or are we, are we going for the kill? Because like I'm, I'm on six, six health here, so I just got to be careful. Uh, this doesn't go. So you can only get up via Gerdia or Notre Dame. Okay. We'll see where he hunts next time. All right, so that's our bad cards. Yeah, I mean, I, I think my... Lobin, that is a horrible, horrible thing, and we will not fall for that trap. Zach, don't read it out loud. <laughs> ah, he's <laughs> servant of the king in yellow. <laughs> um, so I think for my first thing is just literally move up to the Grand Google. Grand Googly. And like try to clear that to get the experience. I also shuffle this. Um, because if anything happens, I at least want the experience. Yeah, that's fair. And then I'm not in your position, so you get your lone wolf. Yep. I feel like that's just the Super way. Super solid. I like it. And we're not in a rush on the spires here either. No. What'd you get? No stone? It's your favorite. Not going to pay two for it. <laughs> no, you're not. Son of a... Most of them, you are not going to do that. Hmm. He's only a fight of two, so actually that upgraded shriveling, two, four, six. Here's what I think I'm going to do. Are you ready? Yep. I'm going to move. Action one. Good. Going downtown. Then I'm going to <laughs> gain a money. Oof. Trust me. Oof. Who gains then, a money in this Then game? I'm going to investigate. Yeah, so, Julian, we're sorry. I, I, it's very nice of you to say, I love the way you pronounce these French names. I was in Paris for a while, and I, I listened to, like, on the metro, they'd announce all the different stations, the stops, and I was like, I don't even see that on the map. And then it's like, oh, they're saying, like, Gare de... Uh, Gerda, whatever, and I'm just like, what is this? Gerda, Gerda, Gerda. It's like, oh, that's Gerda Leon. I get it now. Anyway, so you gain money, and then your third action? I'm going to investigate. Uh, it's a three shroud. I'm at a four five. We're going to make it a six to are three. You, are you going to pay two for crack the case? If I succeed. Yeah, right on. Uh, so I'm a three ahead. Yeah. Uh, you used the totem already? Yeah. During the uh, bad yeah, card phase. Yeah, the bad stuff. Nice. It's zero. a zero. So deduction fires. And crack the case. And then All I'm right. going to... You already paid the money. I already paid there, the money. Yeah. Crack the face, pay for it. <laughs> Cost me two, but then I gain three back from the shroud of three. All right, Existing. net one. Then I'm going to use a fast <laughs> action to put a doom here. Okay. I've still got two clues in case we need a downtown evade, um, but I think we should be fine. What's our organist plan? So it depends on where you're going to be. I mean, I have two clues. So if he moves to you, 
I can also grab two clues real quick. Yeah. I've got a spell for that. If you can get the two clues, that's even better. Because then next round, you can put him down. I can put another one here. It'll be on three, going into four, and then we just have to survive. There's basically two more rounds is our survival. So yeah. he won't even make it to you if you stay where you're at. Yeah. We could also go after him. We could also look at delving. All right. Ready to go? First How'd... action. First, I get the thing. I could also just clear this hypochondria to not take any funny business, but literally... How how am I going to take six damage that would kill me with horror? It we do have to get rid sense. of the spires. We have to get rid of the spires eventually. Yeah, but it's not. I'm not in a hurry. You know what I mean? I do. Okay. So I probably grab some clues and then I could clear spires, take the organist, evade him automatically. Because we need to get spires if we're going to leave the organist there. Yeah. Because the other thing is, like, if he starts crawling up this way, mm -hmm. if you're where you're at, then even if you moved here, it would be fine. I'm essentially coming down to get these clues. Yeah. And then he can come at me. Come at me, bro. Bro. All right, so let's start with a little, uh, ooh, actually, you know what? Okay. Yeah. I like that a lot. Okay, and we can do this once around. This thing, the advance the thing, advance that one, one thing. Limit, group limit once per round, yep. Did we already do it this round? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to kick it off with a read the signs. Um, I'm going to add my five willpower to my investigate. So I'm investigating at an eight, and I get one additional clue. Okay, eight to six. I like this. Eight to six? Eight to two. <laughs> eight to two. That's way better. Uh, no need to call and recall the future. Minus four, it's still successful. Double the clues, double the fun. That's right. Okay, and then second action, let's go ahead and hit Spires. Um, so investigating a two shroud with a three book. Let's see how we want to call this. <laughs> two shroud, the abacus. three book. I really want a plus, I really want a plus one. Need those ritual candles. Um, yeah. yeah, I think that's right. Three shroud, two book. So I'm going to call the minus two. Black Cat's going to pass on the gas mask. Minus two is going to pass on Recall the Future. Everything above that's going to pass. Skull is going to pass. So the two minus three is the minus four and the tentacle. So there's four tokens. So recall the future for the minus two. All right. Black Cat takes a damage, and it goes to a minus one instead of a minus two. Swooshed it. So this goes down to doom. All right, it takes a horror. Yep, goes down one doom. Down to one. Last action, same thing. You got it. Recall the future, minus two. A skull. Do you heal? Oh, you already, you I already did. I already did it. So that's a zero. So I remove another one. Spires out. Okay, that's it. All right. Hunters are gonna hunt. Hunters going to hunt, and so it will engage with me. This guy goes up one. You want to send him this way? Yeah, sure. Hunt on. Ready. Aim. Yeah, and I think, I think, do we go ahead and evade the organist right now? In case there's a card that says, like, any enemy engaged attacks you or something like that. Sure. I'm going to do that right now. Yeah. Now, there is, hold on, there is a card that says spend a clue or take two damage. So, Let do you want to spend yours? Yeah. But you also don't have Malice in now. That's fine. In case there's something devastating. Can we spend one? Yes. Ha! We got it there. <laughs> genius. A <laughs> bunch of geniuses. All right, so the organist, we pay to evade the organist. Yes, and, and so then we put a doom on. I drew my card. Did you draw your card? I haven't drawn a card. Draw everything hunted. Draw a card. Gain a resource. And then we'll get the bad stuff. You get that delve too deep yet? Not yet. I'm not leaving until we get that delve. Peril, hunting shadow. That's it. Spend a clue. Or take two. Or take two. You can afford to take two. I, I'm not messing with that nonsense. 
Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, trumpet. Well, one clue is not doing anything for me. And there's only four left, so having an odd number of clues is not relevant. It's kind of worthless, yeah. Now, well, except for if we both spin one, we can advance the thing, because we can spin those as a group, too, oh, right? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so I'm going to take the damage. Famous last words. Let's ah, it's only halfway Let's get there. out of this yeah, town. It's not a Let's get out of this town. Move out of the Feeling city. a little too comfortable. A stealthy Biaki. Son of a Biaki. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, that's a wither right there. Beginning of the turn? Yeah. Extensive research. So it cost me four, and I would just get two clues. You got the plus two here? Uh-huh. Okay. I have the four. Well. I might move, scoop. Move, scoop, dupe. And move. Hmm. I like it. I like it like that. <laughs> <laughs> We already had to doom that round, so we can't evade him. Is that true, George? Okay, so we'll wait until it comes up to the top of the round and then spin Okay. Up. All that fretting for nothing. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Am I good? You're good. Yeah. Move. Uh, let's play this card. Move scoop. It's minus two because it's in my inside deck. It's minus six because it's in my hand. That makes it two. Cost me two extra because of these things. <laughs> So it's going to cost me four. <laughs> Speaking of abacuses, and I get two clues. <laughs> and then I'm going to move again down to here. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to use a fast action. You add that Oh, doom? wait, no, we can't because we evaded him. That's right. You can't Always add doom. one slower, yeah. Yep, got yeah. it. Mm. And he. But that's fine. Let's see. He's here. evaded now. Yeah, he's evaded at the top of the round. That's right. Okay. Because I like it like that. Okay. Um, so mine is going to be... Mine is going to be the, the wither on the stealthy boy here. Yep, step one. So I'm currently at a five brain plus two, so I'm at a seven to his five. And so I'll call the minus three with three called feature. You got it. Too big to fail. First action. Yeah, Jim <laughs> comes in like... Too Jim to fail. Too Jim to fail. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So that passes. It also triggers the skull effect, which is minus one health. So I do a damage, it's minus one health, so two is gone. And I heal one for the trumpet. Uh, oh, heal one horror from an investigator or a connected. I can heal from you. OK, I see. That happens. Oh, I was reading that wrong. This trumpet's better, guys. You guys probably knew that. When a skull token is revealed during a skill test, exhaust the trumpet, heal a horror from an investigator at your location or a connecting location. Wow. I thought the skull had to be revealed from yours or a connecting, but it's anywhere and then heal from it from one or two. Nice. Anyone reveals a skull? Yeah. Anyone reveals a skull, I can heal myself. Oh, let me see that card. Or anyone at the location. I just want to appreciate it. Yeah, it's good. It's way better. Yeah, wow. The dead listen is the, the name of the trumpet. It's so cool. Good. Good job. Okay. Second action. That's way better. It's so Every good. time I hit a skull not at your location, you should have been healing. Yeah, I think I've hit it probably about every time anyway. The skulls have been very favorable to us this round. Okay, so, so you... I got two actions left. Yep. Let's you, think about what we want to do here. Now's the time for running. If I roll in with you, then Jordan moves here. Then you move over and... Then we have the opportunity to make bad decisions, yeah, which is something I'm, I'm somewhat interested in. I would like to kill him. He's a nasty. It's a nasty thing there. I think I'm just going to move to your location. Yeah, right? I think that's smart. Let's just stay stay cool. Let's hang out. You coming downtown? Yeah, let's go. All right. End of the round. Everything ready. Ready, ready, ready. Hunter's going to hunt. Wee. Hunt and ready. He's in the garden. Jordan in the garden. Draw and resource. Jordan Hillo got the Dillo. Oh, I missed my Lone Wolf, too. There's a Lone Wolf, and I gain one. A Doom? So we go three and two. So technically speaking, if we add a Doom this round, it will advance at the end of the round. And then we'll see what happens. Yep. So let's do the bad cards. Twin Sons, test four book. If I fail, I must either take a, remove a Doom from the current agenda or take a Horror for each one I fail by. Let's just not fail. 
Yeah, that seems to be the Joe Diamond way. Let's go ahead. I'm at four, <laughs> five to four. Let's go ahead and add. Uh, three, nice. so eight to four. Curious about those twin sons, huh? So curious. Adding the curiosity there. Yeah, it reminds me of some old movie I used to like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hate is real. It's awesome. To see the turnaround, it's great. It's like, it's, it's like when the gap. wrestler turns from like champion to heel. Baby face to heel. It's the turn. <laughs> <laughs> Swooshed it. Nice. Minus one. Who cares? All right. Who cares? Hunted by the the crazy things. Reveal the top X, where X is the amount you failed by. Uh, OK, so this actually will probably not pull an enemy, because there's only two cards left. I like that. So test six, OK. It's a chance to heal some horror, I suppose. Even if it does pull an enemy, you'll just bury it. Yeah, now, is there anything else that could go bad? Uh, no. I could lose some resources here. Two minus three is zero, so I lose uh, by a lot. I lose by six. So reveal the top six cards. One, is that an omen? No. Two, that's an omen. Uh, if at least one omen, take one horror. That's fine. Yeah. And then uh, shuffle the encounter deck. Yeah, I may as well put it on the rosary. You're right. You're right. Just got need something for this trumpet to do. That's fair. And may, maybe put it on you. Because well, you can always put it on the rosary later. Right. Hey, we got back. Back around. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got hypochondria. <laughs> Josh says, yes, let the hate flow through you. <laughs> <laughs> Spaz it out, man. Ah, Play it on command. Ah, a lot of coffee. <laughs> oh, you don't shuffle the discard. Well, I, we have to, because that was the end of the deck. Oh, the two cards that were still in the deck they, is shuffled. Oh, they so they shuffle back yeah. as the deck. But now you know what the deck is. Hunting Shadow and that other one that I just saw. Spend a clue or take two damage? Fine. Yeah. That's the one I need a clue to not ever get wrecked by. Because I'm... No, wait. Look, Josh saying no, they're discards, right? Uh, no, Spanish says revealed, not drawn. Yeah, reveal the top X. If at least one is revealed, choose and draw. If at least one, shuffle the encounter deck. Okay, so we shuffle Hunting Shadow. And the other omen card, which was Deadly Fate, I believe it was. Let's make sure. Because I like it like that. I think it was Deadly Fate. If you guys remember, let me know. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. It's probably the worst for us. So we know that the next ones are Spend a Clue. Spend a clue to prevent, and then test three. If you fail, discard cards. Three what? Until okay. So this is blank. Deadly fate is blank, and hunting shadow is spend a clue. Spend a clue. We got this. So these are nothing. We're on. We're on the coast now. This will be a horror. Deadly fate will be a horror. It's a horror. All right. One, two, eight, five, six. I'm trying not to count. It's like my worst instincts. <laughs> Don't remember what's on top. Okay. And when does the encounter deck reshuffle, guys? When we run out. Is it the moment we run out? So if I draw a card that searches the encounter deck as the last card drawn, would I get a fresh encounter deck to search from, or would it be after I resolve that card? That's what I don't know. Tell me, Minds of Arkham. David, do you know that? If I draw a search the encounter deck card as the last encounter card that I draw, do I reshuffle the deck and then search it? Or do I search the now zero card deck? That's why we play, right? That's not why I play, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so All we got right. our bad cards. We just did. Yep. So now we're back to the start. We're back to the start. So it's really simple for me. I'm going to put a Doom on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move. And I'm going to investigate. Do you have anything that would do damage, like a Vicious Blow? Yes. I think we have a shot at killing Jordan Perry this turn, then. Because I can do three, four, five guaranteed. If you can do seven, I need one of these withers to hit a minus one health, and he's dead. I can commit my vicious blow to your thing. Yeah, or you can walk over there and basically do the move punch punch mm. with one with the vicious blow. That's fine. Yeah, let's and do that. And then we like have no chance. I don't need the clues. Very little chance. Of you want to go first? Um, 
No, because it, the wither is only during my turn. The minus one health goes away at the end of my turn. So I need to be the active player when it goes, the minus one health takes him to zero. Ooh, yeah, yeah. So I have to engage with this guy. Also, if you move over there and fail both your attacks, I'm going to run away. He bravely ran away, <laughs> away. That's fine. All right, let's do this. Because I'm Joe Diamond moving here, taking Jordan. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to put a Doom on. Yeah, sure. In case it's this gets weird. Anyway, but. Then I'm going to punch. I'm a four to his two. Let's make it a uh, five, six to his two. I'm going to head by four. Six to his two. Right on. Head by two. Woo! Two damage. Got the minus four. Nicely done. Uh, then I'm just going to punch, and I'm going to commit two beat cops. Ooh, so yeah. it be a head by six Those again. beat cops are never getting played. Malice and staying out. You need yeah. charisma, or you need to cut them. Yeah. There, my next cut. Minus two. Is that success? That's success. All right. So Take three one. damage. All right. So then old Jim Culver going to make the money moves here. First action, let's move. Now, don't kill me. Yeah, I know. I could shrivel you right up. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Agreed. Um, second action. Shriveling. Let's see, six, and then I need to I need to YOLO that uh, symbol on the last one for this to work. You don't have like a shortcut in hand, do you? No. You had a plan that sounded so confident. It is a good plan. We just got it. We got a shot at it. So if we yeah. fail it, it goes to the next one. Yeah. Mm. We should have drawn that on the other one. All right, so Shrivel, heal one, uh, takes three damage. Three? Put, yeah, put three there for the Shriveling. <clears throat> All right, down to two health. Okay, last action, let's Wither. I need that symbol again, bro. Any symbol does it? Any symbol. It's only the skulls and the gas masks, though, that actually work. I don't even want to call uh, recall here. Minus one. Just one damage, unfortunately. I don't think there's anything I can do. I didn't fail the skill test. No, no, no. <gasps> Wait. This instead. Do with that. Yeah. What is it? Uh, Storm of Spirits, instead of, of Wither, for sure. So this one is deal two to everything at your location. Period. So obviously that makes sense. If you succeed. Yeah. This attack uses brain instead of uh, fist. I've got a five brain. Uh, it deals two to each enemy at your location. If I reveal a symbol, it deals one to every investigator at my location. Fine. But we can take that. I can take it on Black Hat. So we'll try the test again. Recall the future, five to two. I'm going to call the minus four. So Shouldn't you call the minus three, though? Minus three succeeds. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. All right, so two to everything. He gone. Including Mark that us. Jordan Perry has been slaughtered. One to, one to Black Cat, one to you. We unleashed the storm of spirits. And then uh, Mark the, uh, what do we mark? The ch uh, oh, somebody's dead now. Jordan Perry. Jordan. Cool. Consider him dead, man. Nice. All right. Swooshed it. Had just what we needed. End of the round? Yeah. Ready everything. I'm going to take a direct horror, too, because of hypochondria. Ready everything. Read your cards. Hunter's going to hunt. Mm -hmm. Then draw a card. Card, make sure it's not card a weakness. Card resource. Then we put Game a money. fifth doom on and advances. Advance on. The sun rises and dispels the darkness. A warm fog envelop envelops mm -hmm. the city, blotting out the sky. Check the campaign log. If you have more doubt than conviction, nope. If you have more conviction than doubt, yep. advanced, advanced to Act Two B. Okay. This was great. What it a good great. little yeah. open world moment. You lose track of yourself within the city as you flee for your life. Your feet move of their own accord. The beating of sinewy wings and screeching of creatures above you spurs you onward. 
Soon you find yourself running down a narrow avenue, passing a set of heavy iron gates. You're in a dead end, a court with tall old houses on either side. You turn back towards the entrance and breathe a sigh of relief as you see the sun rising once more over the skyline of Paris. As though dispersed by the sunlight, the figure that had been chasing you folds into the shadows and vanishes. Mm. Just as you are about to leave, you spot a plaque next to a red-brown door atop a steep, narrow staircase. It reads, In Ingram. Check the campaign log. Watch out for the name, by the way. Don't get blindsided by the name. Yep. If you intruded on a street meeting... Oh, check the campaign log. That's where I come in. <laughs> we didn't intrude on a street meeting at all. Otherwise, proceed to resolution one. I'm so curious now. I'm so curious. How would we intrude on street meeting? I think it was earlier when we were, uh, when we failed at the party, or we, mm. somewhere we failed, we didn't get a... We oh, failed so. somewhere, that's for sure. Watch out for hamburgers. Watch out for hamburgers, that's right. Go to the diner. Okay, I'm supposed to read resolution one, you said? Yeah. Okay. You can only assume this house belongs to Nigel Ingram, the director of The King in Yellow. It's secret meeting, not street meeting. Oh, I like street meeting better, though. <laughs> Me on the street. At least you have finally found your quarry, and yet it is a little relief to your straining sanity. You feel like a dog being led by a leash, your fate decided by a cruel master who has long kept you in the dark. Let's go to the full, full scary shot. You push these gloomy thoughts to the back of your mind and knock on Mr. Ingram's door. There's no response but a flock of magpies that scatter from the rooftop at the sudden noise. You can imagine it, right? You try the doorknob. No, I don't have to. This is very Edgar Allan Poe. Like this whole Carcosa thing is very creepy, like that. Yeah. You try the doorknob, hoping you won't have to resort to more forceful measures. To your surprise, you find the door unlocked. Not surprised by anything anymore. Inside, Nigel's home is a mess of notes, old books, and strange diagrams. Covering the coffee table in his living room is an old faded map bearing many fold creases and tattered edges. It looks to be an incomplete map of the catacombs beneath Paris, or at least a section of it. The food in the pantry is old and rotten. There's no sign of anyone having lived here for years, and yet the ink upon the living room walls is wet and fresh. Over and over, across nearly every inch of the wallpaper, it reads, He is already here. See the weird text there? Yep. Nice touch. <laughs> Can we read the back? Is there a back of one of these that's like secret? You know what I mean? Like the secret text that you should never have to read, but you do anyway. No? Mm -mm. Recording your campaign log that you found Nigel's home. We found it. We sure did. He does exist. <laughs> they do exist. <laughs> Remove all uh, tokens from the bag, then add two hood tokens. So swap the gas masks for the hoods. If Jordan Perry is in the victor display, record his name in VIP slain. We did that. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. I think it was four. Four? God, just short of another cat. Get to cat. But I will get a charisma. Cat. I also need two of the hoods. One, okay. two, Great. three, four. Yeah, we got four XP. And then where are the gloomy dooms? The chaos tokens? Um, are they in here? Yeah, I, uh, they should be here. These are the ones that we're using. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, so that's it. We get how much? Four experience? Four XP. One victory, two victory, three victory, four victory. OK. Why not a little more, though? Man, I, if I had drawn that delve that last turn, it oh. would have been exactly the time. If we, we had one turn, we went too fast. We, we were too good. We went, we could have, we could have delved. Dang it. I think I'm probably gonna cut it here next turn. Yeah, we're past the point of. We should have delved, we just didn't have it in hand, Jeff. Where was it? It was fourth from the bottom, right after my lost soul weakness. Oof. Take two damage, no thanks. Did we keep the lost souls? Yeah, unless it tells us to leave them to get them out. Ouch. We're lost souls forever, man. Lost a pair of lost Carissa. souls. All right, great. So I'm going to take, see, so we've got four experience. The big enemy has zero victory, unfortunately. All of these dumb dinner guests have zero victory because they're demoralizing. They dumb. Is, is this our <clears> token <throat> bag? Yeah. Is this, is this our token bag? Yep. Yep, one that was out. Cool. There's another one in that box. Take the gas mask off. Yep. Yeah, this is our. In. This is Robert and I's bag here. 
Everything here is Robert and I's stuff. All right. Everything else is it's good ours. to know. All right. All right, so um, we got four victory. What do you? How do you feel about the decks working here? I feel like we're doing well. I think the I think the decks have come into their own officially. Like I'm just not failing a single test. I definitely feel like I'm doing the same. Yeah, we're doing it differently, right? The game of Arkham is a game about not failing. I, I like not failing. You're doing a lot more action compression, uh, and I'm doing more on the uh, don't fail side of the the game. Yeah. You don't fail because you can draw anything. I don't fail because I'm playing a bunch of cards. Playing a bunch of cards. Now, we did. We saw a lot of skulls that game. That was a, a tremendous number of skulls throughout that game. That makes me want to run like Song of the Dead. But at the same time, sometimes you don't see the skulls. Yeah. So you can't really count on that, right? I also hit that tentacle on that dumb card every time. So Dane saying Zach should check out the Eye of Truth is pretty cool. I agree. The card has your name written all over it. You'll probably have to look at Arkham DB. I don't know that we have it. It's in one of the packs that is unopened. Uh, Joshua saying these decks are awesome. I'll probably build both of them soon. That's great, Joshua. I'm glad. Uh, very glad. Okay, so for experience, man, I think I go right to Charisma. And then I upgrade a Ward of Protection for free because of Arcane Research. It's 100% and it. it's already done. You did it. All right, I'm going to read this. The Eye of Truth costs five experience. Test adds four wild icons. If it's on a treachery and the test is successful, add that treachery to the victory display and attach the Eye of Truth to it. While well, attached, the Eye of Truth contributes to its, its skill icons to all tests on copies of the attached treachery card. That's so awesome. it's a four, and then you can attach it. Anytime you hit that test again, it get plus four. Anyone in the game hits that test, yeah. they get plus four yeah. to it. I mean, I, I'm I'm committed to my decipher reality. Decipher, that's the, you got to have those weird chase cards that just make you feel weird. There's not enough. Ex I feel like there's more experience in Forgotten Age. Maybe I'm sure you can fact check me on that. But I feel like there was more experience in Forgotten Age. Okay, so here's what we do. So, like, I'm tempted to spend non experience mm. so that I can decipher the reality. Because, like, it's the only way you're going to get it. it but it's going to be like the last scenario when you actually get to play it. But hey, what if you never draw it? That happens. What about fundamentals, Zing? Well, it would be my inside deck, so the odds are pretty okay. That's actually not bad. Yeah. You could replace one of the no stones with it. Could also upgrade a grizzly totem. All right, water protection. Let's. Upgrade that one. So because I've got two arcane research, I get a free, I get minus two on my first spell upgrade. So going from Ward of Protection zero to Ward of Protection two is free. Nice. And then we're going to grab Charisma. Because Mama didn't raise no dummy. Mama didn't now, raise Zach, no Now you could dummy. also grab Charisma and actually put those beat cops to work. Just saying. I just don't think it's going to happen. I, I've got it. I have no choice but to get to. Now, I could also go Bulletproof Vest instead of Charisma. That's tempting. Because the one thing you can't do is die, right? We already talked about this. That's how you lose. That's how you lose. Do you have Charisma in your pile somewhere over there? A Charisma? Nope. All right, well, I'm just going to take it. We don't even need the card. I'm with it. I have charisma now. I did it. You finally <laughs> have charisma after your whole life. I'll write it on my campaign log. Steven has charisma. I think they're probably shuffled off in other decks. All right, I'm going to say Jim has charisma. Somewhere he found, you know, you go to Paris, you get a little, you, you get a little charisma, a little confidence. Yeah, I got got my my fashion sense about me. That's uh, funny. Jim has charisma. I commune. With, I man, I, I talk to those spirits like mad. This game, so they they gave me some. You're in touch ideas. with your spirit self. I All have right. Jeff. I have been close to death in every scenario, uh, but. So if I can rolls. play Black Cat, if like this game, for instance, if I had Charisma, I could have played Black Cat like seven turns sooner, and then I soak the entire Final Rhapsody. That was an awful Final Rhapsody, too. You know, they just took me right out of the game. That's how that goes, though, right? Yep. Just That's the idea? Sometimes you just lose. Whew. Game Arkham. All right, I'm just going to save mine, because I'm committed to Decipher Guys. So next is Scenario 6, which means after that we have two left. Did I write? Let's see. This is the fifth scenario? 
Yeah. Okay, so I got four. So we have a total of 11, 16, 20 total so far at yeah. this phase. Okay. So I have one left. Uh, and I'm going to write that. Uh, Jim, because I have arcane research, so it gets weird, has one XP. All right. Great. Done. Hey, that was good, man. What time is it? Four o'clock? Yeah. We had just begun. This is nuts. Huh. Them's the beats. Wow. Is it going to be a, are we going to have a, a nice uh, chill Friday? Are we going to get to go home a little early? I think that's what we do. We yeah. can chat for a little bit. Let's chat with folks. Let's see what Because I feel like that, that, that to took say. us like two and a half hours. So, and we'd have to start. It's just too much to do another one. We are officially out of the game so we can say the H word as much as we want. Hamburger. <laughs> Thank you. Man, I was craving, uh, hamburger is my favorite food. You know that? Is it your favorite in terms of like, you could have this thing I would repeatedly eat it for the, the rest most of my often, life. forever? Or it like, doesn't. It doesn't even need to be like about the beef necessarily. <laughs> the delivery vehicle of the hamburger, whether it could be a Beyond patty, just like you have a bun, it could be a chicken patty, some kind of patty in the yes. middle, and like toppings yes. and stuff. Oh my gosh! It's really good. I mean, it's the it's somewhere between a real meal and like a, a like something you eat with your hands. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just like it's very convenient. I don't need any silverware or anything. Um, okay, let's talk. Fireblaze, what did you think of this scenario? Yeah, good question. I liked it a lot. I feel like it's the kind of scenario that could easily get away from you. Mm -hmm. um, I do feel like our decks, uh, after, so we did the Forgotten Age with Tony and Mandy. It was Mandy, right? Mandy, yeah. The Pendant Queen. Mm -hmm. um, that was fun. And those decks were very good. Um, and you could tell by the time you got to the middle, middle of the campaign, they're very efficient at what they're doing. And I feel like that's what's happening with these decks as well. We just got there, yeah. Where it's like you are very, very efficiently defeating uh, minions, and I'm very, very efficiently getting clues. So in this scenario, it's like in my first three, t my turns were crazy. The, the compression early on was awesome. I was just like slam a jamming, yeah. and then like every time an enemy came out, you were just like Whoa. shriveled. Um, Consider it shriveled. So I. I think that's the kind of that scenario could be insanely tough, and I like the idea you're trying to like kite around the organist. I also love that there's the two sides basically based on a doubt or conviction, mm -hmm. where it's like either you're running from him like we did. There was one where you actually had to get clues on him, um, and he was aloof and just kind of a, a different thing. So I also really like seeing seemingly so much replayability built into, and we keep seeing things where it's like if this, then do this, and yep. we have none of those things happening. So it basically what you're saying is it's a replayable game. Yeah. And it's awesome. Like go the doubt route, go the conviction route. That's where it actually makes sense to have, you, like as an idea when you're developing the game, players might want to play this multiple times. And at the first I was like, I don't ever want to do that because I've already got the story. I know what happens. Like I don't want to just play through it again. But then it's like, if I know that I've gone the conviction route the first route, then I do whatever I need to do to, go to the get the direction. doubt route. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, cool, now I play it differently. Yeah, I, I like think, that a lot. I think that's cool, and you can obviously try it with different investigators. And then I'm, I'm really excited about trying out a Return to at some point. Yeah. Um, I know Return to Forgotten Age is supposed to come out at some point this year. So that, that's probably the top one on my list, because apparently they fixed the Yithian uh, twist. Fixed? Well, changed? Changed. <laughs> Killed. Fixed for us, changed for others. Jeff saying, have you thought about location connectors yet? This scenario is one of the biggest. Yeah, we've talked about it. Yeah, it's, it's on the list. It's literally on like the, the list, product list. There's a lot of things on there, actually. There's a lot of Arkham-related things on there because it just, it just it, there's a lot of great products you can make for Arkham, and there's a lot of you out there who are great people who are watching these streams and are buying those products. So like, Which it, allows us to keep doing exactly so this. So we should make more if you're continuing to buy them. Carcosa is all, and like we just finished today. The uh, this isn't the final material on it, but this is. Oh, that shot makes it look awesome. Yeah, it's super nice. Um, we're gonna do a little fill on it as well, a little black fill, uh, maybe a little wax on it as well. Um, so those should be showing up here fairly soon. We'll be able to go ahead and get the final uh, check marks done and get that to production. And, and those will be up and soon. Moving. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm I'm gonna I think I'm gonna buy this one, not this one particularly, but yeah, once the. the the Carcosa version of the Also, board. the design on the Undone board is phenomenal. It's in the tarot card art style. Jonathan's been working on that design, like the black and what white is just illustrated, Circle Undone, mm. the Undone board. 
And then the same with the Dream. The Dream board is looking awesome. On the, just on the design, we haven't even gotten to the prototyping and materials and whatnot. But the Dreamlands map, and it's just the spiral staircase. It's like, ah, I love it. It's looking great. Um, so it's, uh, it's great. We, we'll continue to make the products. I think location connectors are on the list for sure. Um, also looking into like the little stand-up stuff where you can have your little act and agenda stood up is really nice. Um, that would be helpful for us, just having it out there and having it in like the Dumbwich style, like copper. Yeah, that's going to be nice. I can see that. Uh, Northern Lights wants to know, how do you feel about the switch from Arkham to Paris? Did it feel natural or disconnected? It felt natural. It felt natural to me. I thought it was fine. Yeah, I did, I, I'm not attached to Arkham, yeah. the, the place at all. I, it's cool that we go there sometimes, and it... I assume kind of if you start things. from the beginning, it makes it, like, down which particularly that cycle, probably makes that feel like home base almost. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I started in Forgotten Age, so th nothing about this game to me is tied to Arkham. That, no. That it was like we went out in the forest and then we came with the jungle and we came back to Arkham one or two scenarios, but then... It was just like that episode of Miss Maisel where all of a sudden they go to Paris and yep. then that's the thing for the next couple of episodes and then come back. Uh, Alex uh, says, so nice, we're going to get one for each cycle. Yeah, we, we, we want to wanna complete board and doom tokens for each cycle and continue doing that as they come out, right? So We got a little behind. Yeah, we got behind. There's well, a lot so going on. We didn't start making them until like the game is out for a year. Yeah. That's when the, the tokens came out. And then it was like four or five months later, the first board was made. And then it was really, the people loved it. And then it, the so response like, well, was we should probably do beyond more. anything we expected. And, and so we did we Forgotten started. Age. Yeah. And that was a wild, that was an insane production. That one was tough because there was a lot to get that 3D texture effect. Uh, and then, yeah, so we'll do, we'll catch up there and then we'll do the ends mouth, hopefully right about the time that cycle's releasing. We'll have it around that time, but I, I don't know. With production as it is with COVID, it's kind of hard to, to guess when that's going to be. Yeah. Now I was looking. And then we'll get caught up. In's mouth, the next cycle, I don't think it's supposed to start until like October. Yeah, so we should be good. We have some time. We should be there. I think we'll be able to make it. Yeah, and Paris was great. I, I This scenario is high on my list of scenarios for Arkham that I love. Uh, I, I just really enjoy the ones that have a lot of locations and you feel like you're just wandering around, kind of slowly discovering that things are a little awkward, and then, you know, usually about by the end of the scenario, it accelerates to a pace where you're, like, just squeaking by. Yeah. I do think that at this point, for standard difficulty, our decks have started to outpace the difficulty of the scenario, which is super satisfying. Like, about, you know, three from the end, we're starting to feel like we're, like, the heroes in the story, yeah. which I really like. I don't want to change anything about that. Um, but, I, you know, I'm looking at all the tests that we were doing, and it's like we're at a point where we just kind of don't fail them. So that's a good place to be. Yeah, I, I was it's a good way to build the decks, you know? I was basically at a point where I could consistently be at least three ahead of every test. Yeah. Which is mathematically, I'm going to pass almost all my tests. Yeah, it's a lot. The only ones I didn't pass, actually, were because I flipped the... The tentacle. The tentacle. That's why the tentacle's yeah. got to exist in this game. Yeah, I agree. Otherwise, it's just too, too uh, down the line, like, I know this is never going to fail. You don't want that. Uh, that's let's interesting, look. Alex. He says it'd be interesting to do two boards for Dream Eaters, one for the Sleepers and one for Awake. I don't know. I guess that's a mechanic. That would be cool. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe I after we do it. I don't know if anyone would buy two for yeah. the one, but. You never know. Uh, Trez Million saying, any hopes you want to see in Innsmouth? I'm just so excited. This is the theme. This is everything about the theme that I love. Uh, it's water. It's island, like not, not island, but like shoreline docks creaky old bars and sailors and all that kind of stuff. Well, From what I know, the, the old Sahuagin uh, We saw the uh, enemies, the old the, uh, When we played the Mythos CCG a few weeks back? Yeah, we did. One of the decks was Innsmouth. Innsmouth related. look, yeah. And it was like, you've got the Innsmouth look and you turn them into fish, which is hilarious. Yeah, it's great. Uh, so it's just sea creatures and like, uh, remember Anglax from Monster Apocalypse? Yep. The yep. angular fish creature thing. I, We'll probably love every investigator from Innsmouth Cycle, so it'll be really nice because, like, I was playing exclusively Silas Marsh because I love the theme of like sailing and water so much. So if we get three or four new investigators that also have that kind of sailing water theme, I will be out of control excited for that. I, that'll give me essentially more investigators that I'm ex super excited to play. Yeah, which will be fun. Yeah. I was thinking about this the other day. I. I Maybe shouldn't say this on stream, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm getting real comfortable here. Uh, <laughs> is one thing that we always talk about with Arkham that makes it tough. Even Carcosa, I've seen people now commenting where it's like, basically, they started watching our streams for Arkham, got convinced that they wanted to get into this game. 
but then after being convinced and ordering stuff, decided that they didn't want to keep watching our streams right? <laughs> because they don't want to be spoiled on what's going on. So that's, that's one of the balances we have with creating Arkham content. And ultimately, uh, one thing I was thinking about that's really cool is that you, we could technically, um, and this is kind of tied to something else, but take the, kind of like we did with Forgotten Age, we could take the investigators from Rin's Mouth and the player cards, yeah. and we could take those as they're coming out through a different cycle. Through like Delmish Legacy or something. Through something, something else. Yeah. yeah. And then after like a six month period or something or whenever it's finally complete, then we actually get to play that scenario on stream. That'd be uh, awesome. That'd be so fun. And then that way we're kind of following along with the new releases with the player cards, but not with the scenario because people don't want to be spoiled on that. That's stuff. right. Yeah. Because uh, my, my kind of uh, dream at this point, and, and we'll see how the next couple months go and the rest of the, 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 uh, the rest of time goes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're all here but, waiting on that, aren't we? Yeah, I would like to continue streaming Arkham on a regular basis. I've had a really good time doing this. The reaction has been really incredible. Uh, the number of people sign up for our content memberships and our subscriptions for Arkham and our buying our Mythos products has been amazing, um, which is allowing us to do noted as, notable seriously, uh, mm-hmm. which is uh, which is what allows us to do this. So there's a, a version of the future where we keep streaming Arkham. Uh, so if that keeps happening, which I am wanting to make happen. Uh, then it's like we could keep streaming forever. We'll eventually play everything, but like if it's weekly, we'll all we'll catch up. And that's eventually what's cool we'll about catch up. when the new stuff's coming out. Then we can basically take because like we get Return to Forgotten Age, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like that's a whole couple months of that's content. That's true. That's very true. And it's like take the Endmouth yeah. Investigators back through Forgotten Age or whatever we end up deciding. And like there's just some fun stuff for us to do. Um, but I'm excited about Ends Mouth just to see. I, I've never been around when new stuff. There's a weird like drowning mechanic. I think that's going to feature a big. A what big is dead thing. may never die. Yeah, where it's like if you're if you're in this location and the drowning stuff happens, then you take like eight damage or something. It's like insane. Uh, question here from Alex uh, Brown with Delmich, Gold with Carcosa, Green with Forgotten Age. What's the color scheme for Circle and Dream Meter? So Circle, we're kind of looking at kind of a mystical blue uh, kind of thing to match. It matches the uh, the Doom token. And then Dream Eater is similar. There's a beautiful purple that we've got a hold of that has a nice shimmer to it. It looks right. What did you say for Dream Circle and Dawn? I uh, like a blue. Mm-hmm. Like a. Yeah, have you seen our? You seen our token? For our, Circle or Inn's Mouth? Circle and Dawn. Inn's Mouth is going to be weirder than blue. It's got to be like creepy and awkward. Here's the blue. Oh, that's it's sparkly cir- blue. Blue. It's blue for Circle and Dawn, and that's the Dream Eater. Mm. So the boards will kind of mirror those colors because oh, when you're using them all yeah, together yeah, yeah, you yeah. want it to all look pretty synthesized um, okay more things happening have we read the king and yellow novel collection by rw chambers this scenario not. is based on in the court of the dragon huh. super cool my dad was a huge chambers fan um did he have a little house in texas we went and visited somebody that may not have been chambers uh it could have been anybody really a lot of people have a little house in texas that's right. Tigger uh, plays saying, Steven uh, thinks we're outpacing the difficulty. be interesting to see what happens in the next one. I found it much harder than this one. Yeah. I, and that's part of the balance is, like, I wouldn't be ready to advance past standard yet because I feel like some scenarios just spike you. Yep. Yep. Uh, apparently, Dem Carcosa, is that the next one? Dem Carcosa uh, it, looks like it's very hard. I think, I thought Dem Carcosa was the finale. I've never beaten Dem Carcosa. I've had fun losing it. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so yeah. the next the next one is the Pallid Mask, and then Black Stars Rise, and then Dem Carcosa. Okay. So at the end, it's supposed to be really difficult. That's by the time you get your deciphered reality. It's That's time right. to go. And then there are going to be like two locations. Jordan S. just popping in uh, to say, I've been loving the Skytear content. Got my copy earlier this week, and I've played two games. That's fantastic, Jordan. I hope you're loving it. Um, he said, I had your painting stream on while working yesterday. Can't wait to start on that, too. That's so awesome. So good, guys. Julian uh, here saying, your streams are the best for Arkham. Keep doing them. That's great, hey, Julian. thank you thank so you. much for that. Um, David Whitfield, probably Howard, Conan Rider. Yes, you're right. You're completely right, David. You nailed it. And uh, what are we going to do next Thursday? Any ideas on Throwback? We need to talk about is that. Time for 7th C? <laughs> Maybe. I have a, I have a list I don't scene, have an answer yet. Spoils. Um, you can't get people excited. That's what I'm here to do. Yeah, but the know, whole point of got, the stream. You got to check our social feeds this weekend. Star Wars LCG. Do. That's high on my you list. You can drag me through that one if you want. It won't be a drag. <laughs> You'd have a good time. I'm going to actually bet money that you'll actually enjoy it more than you remembered enjoying it. Mm-hmm. 
A Lord of the Rings also. Yeah, we, we've been talking about getting Lord of the Rings on. I, I would like to revisit it because my impression of it is years old now. So just to actually, you know, come in and play something. I almost want to play it, like, with not optimized decks, with, like, some basic decks through, like, yeah. the second cycle or something. I mean, what we do is we just start with core sets. And the core set for that, that game is, is not good. It's not good. In the third one, I, like, impossible? I, I wish they would do, like, a... They could do this now. If they're, I would, I would actually buy this. So if you're watching FFG, just remember this. Uh, if there were like a one to two hundred dollar box set, mm -hmm. and it was like the Lord of the Rings, the hit story, the classic collection. Well, they did all the deluxes that took you through it, but it's like basically they give you oh the Ring Bearer story basically. They give Frodo you the nine the with decks, right? It's like you have a gand or it's three characters per list technically. So then like three decks, mm -hmm. and it's like. You know, Gimli, Legolas, and Aragorn, three hobbits, Gandalf, Boar. You'd have to figure yeah, out the math. A Boar Man, two hobbits would be fine. Yeah. Um, and then it's like you have three pre built decks. The elf deck, the dwarf deck, probably the human deck. You probably have and Gimli and, deck. and Legolas together. Yeah. Cause it's, it, but the dwarves have such synergy. The whole two towers is like Gimli, Legolas, and Aragorn That's true. chasing. Yeah. Uh, and then Merry and Pippin so you, are separate. A lot of times they'll be packaged with like a Boromir. Yeah. And yeah. then like then you have Frodo, Gandalf, and Sam mm -hmm. or something like that. Anyways. Or Frodo, Sam, Secrecy, and then like a Gandalf. Yeah. Did he release yeah, as a yeah. hero finally? Oh, he, he was, was always that big ally. He was that a hero at some drop point. In and... But if it had three decks and then it was literally like 20 scenarios through Lord of the Rings and it was just packaged mm -hmm. like that, because there's no way, right now it's just. To buying like a billion. If I three to out what you're and then like, buy is who knows where I'm yeah. going or what I'm doing at this point. Um, Anyways, and then Marvel Monday. What are we doing? We're doing Rhino Three again. We're gonna try yeah. it. Yeah, we gotta actually try to. You get think it. we can do it? it? This past Monday was the weirdest. Uh, it was strange. Gameplay stream. Yeah, that was the weird. mattress per peril card. It popped up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's. Um, I think we can do Rhino Three. I think we can beat it. What's the key? The van. Definitely the van. Less critical. Someone's got to be on the the justice train. Okay. I can do justice. I mean, at, at some point, I just go back to Iron Man justice. And I mean, don't we just run the heroes that can do the most to spike the damage as hard as possible and just try to burn through, what, 30 to 40 hit points? Yeah. So, Miss Marvel? Or Iron Man? Hmm. Iron Man Cap? All, All right, guys. Hits. Let's get out of here. Um, yep. Thank you so much for being a part of this. This is a huge amount of fun for us. I look forward to Fridays like no other. It's a really good way to end the week. Yeah, like after four or five days of streaming in a row, like this being on the horizon is is probably the best thing. Yeah, just have a little Arkham experience. Thanks so much for being here. We appreciate you guys uh, very much just to hang out with you and, and that you're watching us and whatnot. Anyone who's watching later on that, you know, you're not catching us live, but you're following along, uh, glad to have you as well. Happy you're here. And uh, I'll get us out of here, Zach. Have Do a great it. weekend, everybody. It's Friday. Used to mean a little more than it did back when uh, I was not basically at home every weekend doing the same thing. Doing the same thing, yeah. but you but know, it's still nice. I still like it. I like I like it. All right, good luck, Zach. Will do. All right, as Stephen said, it's Bring been great having you. The chat was awesome with the rules help and the interactions. You guys are the best. Have a great weekend. Be safe, and we'll catch you on Monday for Marvel Monday. Stay tuned this weekend to see the full schedule, and we'll catch you there.